Oh, not having fair. this session. Oh, I'm gonna call him and yell at him. Oh, I'm so tempted. He is the late one right now. It's Let true. him get his fucking it drink. Calm down. It doesn't even take him that long to drink. I can guarantee you he's just pet playing with the kitten. I can uh, guarantee you. You let that man be kitten. happy. He's not happy. He's not happy. Hey guys, Santa's streaming. That was too much for me. I had to leave. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Did you guys want some D and D? Cause I got some D and D for you. Hello. Contagious by Night Riots or by Howl. It could be by either. I'm not sure. I think the band is Howl. And the name of the of the thing is Night Riots. That makes more sense. Now that I'm looking at the album cover. I don't know. Free requested it. I just play the music. I don't know. Play that funky music, white boy, as they say, you know? Let me do that tweet stuff. Twitter? You ready, BB? Dude, I was born ready. That was just too much for me. Pull me. <laughs> hey Chris, we almost had a major emergency. Rule 20 was down for a few minutes before you were here. Not we almost had a major emergency. That's happened really before. Major. Not really that major of an emergency. All it would have been is just, hey, no session, sorry. I would have kicked your fucking One whole ass. year. You're the first Why one with me? the house so far. Because I can fucking blame That's you. That's my house now. You got a house. I, I live here. You got a whole house. Please. Wait a minute, it's summer. Wait a minute, wait a no, minute. How no, could no, no, suck my dick, no. How could you blame me? What no, would suck I my have dick, done? no. What, what do you mean? No, suck my dick. How? How is it my fault? No, it goes down. Suck my dick. No, suck mine. I'm on the bed. <laughs> I'm down. I never get to see either of you two except on D and D nights, which only happen once a month, apparently. Listen, listen. The only reason I haven't been around is because I've had class like all hey, the Crims, time. Hey, Crims, how you doing? Stranger, broken Andre. Uh, Andre can't talk. Control is just talking to you though. Hello. Uh, how are you guys? Uh, In summer, you can see me every single night at midnight EST, except Saturday. I know. You see me I was like news. actually talking. You mean we know where you are Saturdays? <laughs> um, yeah, you do. You know where I am Saturdays. Yeah, we know where you are Saturdays, so we can see you literally at midnight every day of the week. Yeah. I'm a very busy boy. <laughs> uh, glad right, we got that Don't think you yeah. are. Glad we got that resolved. <laughs> Good talk. Unplugging your stream. I'm ready for you two to have your first hour to yourselves. Oh, dude, remember that shopping that I was going to do, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I told you. Yeah, yeah. I told you that he forgot. Should have remind <laughs> I, I, no, I told Chris to remind you, and he's just like, nah, it'll be fine. Very busy. It's like, he'd do it if I shapes. reminded him. I guarantee it. But no. No, I definitely forgot. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> oh! I have so many ah! things on my list right now. You have no idea. Yeah. He, he got a 68 on the D69. Oh. He got he got fuckled. Are you ready, ladies and gents? No. You're the only but lady also, yes. here. What do you mean? Debatable. I got where's the my juiciest music? titties around. Chris, where's my music? It ain't time yet. We it gotta make sure time. everyone's what do you ready. Mean it's not, what are you, we've, we've been, been waiting, waiting for you. you! So, are we all ready to go? No, I'm oh here. Oh my goodness. Uh, does anyone have any questions before we begin? No. Uh, oh yeah. 
start the campaign. I want to kill Claudia before I have to go to bed. Really? <laughs> I'm uh, agitated. Well, we. That all being said, uh, hmm. yeah. Please, by all means, let me know what we did last time on. Who fucking remembers a ten dollar <laughs> balloon strange? All right. Uh, well, I saw Claudio in an orb. Uh, someone else saw someone else. Uh, Corva saw Ori. I think at one point. Shit happened. There's your recap. All right. So I'll do the actual <laughs> recap now. <laughs> all right. So. We pick back up back in uh, Lannister's basement after defeating the, the Sorrow Sworn. Uh, we got out of the basement, but we got greedy and picked up a, a weird book and opened a chest that was trapped. And we got stuck in the basement again. And we had to escape the basement, only to be confronted by uh, all the maids and butlers. And we had to fight them. Turns out they were Gith, and then they disappeared. And then we kind of followed them upstairs. And Jack uh, got feeble minded by a door. And then Maul broke down a wall while Pro read the the book we found, which is super fucking curse. And I'm cursed Pod. Threw threw a whole bunch of shit in his bag. And then we broke into the room that whose door feeble minded Jack, and we got a bunch of magic shit out of it. And then we left. And then uh, Maul took Jack to a cleric to get his feeble minded uh, gone and didn't pay the man. And then we left in the in early morning, and we arrived at the fucking capital after doing a whole bunch of shit on the road involving scrying. Uh, there is a tad bit more that happened that was not on stream. And then me and me and Gareth had a date. Yeah. Then then yeah, then uh, when we got to the capital, uh, Gareth and Crow went off. Went and to a library and research. Went shit. to a bunch of library and researched a bunch of shit, which. Will be more detailed when right, the characters the meet up head. in in character. The done it is true. Um. So yes. Uh. As you guys have settled into the uh large, uh, extremely large city of Calderum, uh, the seat of the throne for the uh, Holy Empire, you guys uh have split off in your separate ways. Uh, Corva and Gareth have gone off to go do their own thing. Oh, you we guys also have a tavern. Uh, yeah, there's a, a localized meeting place that you guys have agreed upon. Um, <laughs> but everyone's just kind of split it off to do their own things. Uh, it is Jack and Maul's turn to do as they please in the big city. What's the plan? I'm going to the slum. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna find the shady dudes. All right. And I'm gonna ask them what they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is Jack going to follow, or is Jack doing his own thing? Since I don't remember, I guess I'm following. Okay. Uh, yes. You guys uh venture off toward the uh lower districts uh of Calderum. Um, you quickly see as you move around. Even though the city is quite uh well kempt all around, uh, it very quickly transitions from like extremely rich this is the place that like all the tourists are intended to see it's very beautiful to like this is clearly residential lots of people just kind of live here in general and it's not too flashy or anything to like this is horrible this place should not be lived in by anyone um you see a lot of uh dingy and dirty people uh milling about the streets uh some of the uh richer people who seem to be traveling through the space seem to be clutching tightly to their coin purses uh keeping an eye on everyone uh maul your intimidating presence certainly gives those uh few and far between rich people like a kind of uh, a stutter of the heart as they're just like oh that guy's very intimidating um but you uh otherwise wander around here there's quite a number of people around uh, some of them may or may not be having illicit discussions in uh, dark corners. Uh, what is your plan here? I want to find someone who looks like they know shit. Uh huh. Uh huh. A, a street urchin, if you will. Uh, an urchin, or are we talking about like an adult? L literally, anyone who would like, you know, know the haps around the towns, you know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Give me an investigation check then. Let me know what you get. Uh, I got a nat 20. A nat 20, you say? 
Yes. Uh, yeah, you just kind of uh, wander around. First you speak to a few people trying to get the uh, the best information possible. Uh, what would you like to know? What are you asking them for? If they've seen a man fitting Claudia's description and the argument of how I know what Claudia looks like is he tormented me for years. So therefore, I think I would remember that face. No, he has a nice he... hat. I mean, you also did describe him. So you, you, you do know what that he looks too. like. You wouldn't, you wouldn't recognize him at all, uh, given that description. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you ask a few people around, and uh, basically, uh, one of the first people you talk to, you kind of give the, the rundown. Yeah, his name's Claudio, he looks like this, etc. The guy kind of just stops you halfway, and he's like, Oh yes, I know Claudio. Okay, where is he? Uh, where he is is much harder to say. He is around, certainly. He frequents most of the bars around here. What's his favorite? I don't believe he has one. There's uh, very few that he is not banned from these days. He runs up a mighty tab, which he never can pay off. Which ones are he banned from? Uh, are he, he not banned from? Uh, he says he doesn't really know the answer to that one, but like he kind of like walks you down the street, um, and he's like, "Oh, I've seen him like out in front of that one. I've seen him get in a fight in this one. I've seen him over at that one." And he just kind of like leads you to the uh, around like a small section of uh, the slumier part all, of the cities. Are these all on the same street? Uh, not necessarily. They're like within several blocks. Um, but then he, uh, kind of points you to the last direction that he saw him, uh, a couple days ago, uh, closer to the large Coliseum. Um, and he says that it might be a good idea to look in that direction. Can we go to the Coliseum? I tell, this, I tell yes, I tell this man. <coughs> oh, sir, are you okay? That was it, ball. that was bear. <laughs> Bear's having a tough time. <laughs> okay, can I also just ask, how, how did you eat shit the other day? Like, what, what, what happened with that? Like, you say you're having a tough time and you sent me a stamp shit of you just straight up eating shit, so. I fell off of a four foot stage head first. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good, Insano, did you see that? <laughs> did you see me fall off the stage? <laughs> no. Did you like to? I have the video saved. Please send. I'll Please send, send it to you and I'm send muting them. continue. Please send. <laughs> that was so funny. It's even better because there's slow motion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's always been, if you see him come back around here. You come find me, I'll be in the general direction of the Coliseum. <laughs> Very well, I'll keep that in mind. I'll I'll give you a little little extra something if you manage to spot him and find me. And he uh, gives an agreement uh, to you for that. He's also going to talk to several of his friends uh, to like be a canvas on the area to see if they can find him a little faster. <laughs> so you find you feel as if you could find him quite easily. Did I just break you and say no? No, just watch you fucking eat shit. <laughs> it gets better every time you watch it. <laughs> you fucking tried to be all cool and shit, and then you just fucking fly. Huh? No, the thing, the thing is, I landed just fine, but... <laughs> Can I so chat? Yeah, that that landing doesn't look fine. My no, 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 so no. Chat. I did. I I did land just fine. Uh, maybe not on that one. Maybe not that one. Gonna say no. But no, I, I did so land chat. just fine. But then I, <laughs> I hey. I lean forward a little bit more. All right, chat. For context, he tries to act all cool, right? He does a little hand motion. He's like, I'm gonna fucking I do this cool thing, right? I wasn't. And then he fucking... I wasn't acting cool. The context was we were we had to be on stage because we were we were testing out cameras and stuff. So we had to just have people on stage to like do something, and we were just fucking around. He does like a long jump kind of thing, lands and then fucking falls and eats shit and flies <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> he like, well, like it just gets progressively worse. <laughs> 
this is so funny. <laughs> okay, Coliseum. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we go to the col. We go. We head to the direction of the Coliseum. <laughs> Uh, that is a thing you can do. You kind of head back toward the, uh, main avenues, uh, throughout Kaldarum. Uh, uh, heading toward this extremely large amphitheater that is, uh, erected here. It takes up a large portion of, like, the horizon. Basically, any time you're on a road, even far away from it, it just kind of, like, hangs above all the other buildings, uh, beyond the, uh, Imperial Palace itself. Uh, a little further down. This structure is quite impressive, and even now you can hear some crowd inside uh, yelling away at whatever they might be watching. Uh, also, for funsies, give me a perception check, both of you. Uh, I got 11. Shit. <laughs> well, makes sense. 20. Uh, Jack, you hear the distinct sound of rushing water. As you grow closer to the Coliseum. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I okay. would do with that. Huh? Uh, I hear water. It out. Uh, I am you would, thirsty. You would note, though, that in this area, there's no river or anything. You just hear this, like, a large amount of water nearby. Um, it would be like... Um... Do sewer systems exist in this time? In your, in they your do. World? Then I would just assume it's that. Fun. Understood. Uh, but yeah, you uh, you head to the uh, amphitheater to Calde. What are you going to do? Um, I continue looking for a boy to know who or where or what Claudio. We're in the Coliseum, right? Uh, you are, like, out front of the Coliseum. There's a very large entryway uh, where people are filing in and out. Uh, there's lots of people, uh, street traffic, on they're the like, uh, uh, avenue that's here. I don't know what they're called. They're, like, bookies, you know? They, like, do the gambling stuff, you know? Yeah, you can kind of see, like, around the corner <laughs> inside the Coliseum. There are people, like, yelling at uh, several people behind a desk. Uh, they seem to be taking small little tickets uh, and trying to exchange it for small bags of silver and gold. Can I, like, uh, can I try to pull one of them off to the side? Uh, one of the bookies? Yeah. Uh, Maybe yeah, like you head in. just getting off their shift or something, you know? Yeah, you, you call, uh, one of them over. Like, they all seem busy, and they're like, oh, I'll be with you in a second. And you're like, no, I need to talk to you over here. So they handle some business, talk to one of their friends, and then he kind of, like, steps away for a minute, uh, a little bit away from the, uh, desk itself. And he's like, yes, uh, how, how can I help you? <laughs> oh, sir, are you okay? <clears throat> okay. Hi. Uh, have you uh, have you seen a a, a, a he's kind of like a rotund lad. He goes by the name Claudio, but he might be using a different name. Uh, he kind of wears like this top hat all the time. Uh, have you well, seen him he, before? Yeah, Ooh, robots! I didn't know oh. robots were in this uh, universe. I'm fixing. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Whoa! I didn't know someone invented robots. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I still see it on one bar though. Up oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's, it's gonna. Did you hear what uh, I said though? But yeah, he nods and says, "Oh yes, Claudia de uh, Placido. Yes, uh, your friend of his. Uh, used to be. I uh, haven't seen him in a long time. Used to be. You well." I, yeah, he kind of like uh, uh, thanks for a moment. He seems kind of confused on whole, how wait, to wait, respond. Wait, 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 we're in the Holy Empire, right? Yes. Have you heard of Jack of Hearts? Jack of Hearts. The name sounds familiar. You're looking at him. Well, well. Used to be in a circus. Uh, give me a persuasion check. There it is. Natural 20. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, just blowing all those natural 20s early. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's like, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, it's proper celebrity. I will have to say, however, if you are friends with uh, Mr. DiPlacito, uh, I, I feel that there is... Uh, you might need to talk to someone here. He does owe oh, oh, quite a hefty amount of debt. Yeah, I kind of figured... So who should I, like, go to? Uh, he, he, uh, points you in the direction of one of the managers. He's willing to call them over if you'd like. 
Is there any, like, um... I don't know a proper way to say it, so I guess loan shark in the area? Like, is there, like, uh... Do you know anything about that? Uh, we try not to, uh... Participate with any of those. We prefer to handle that all within our own house here. Oh, although... I can, uh, I can promise you there's not gonna be any illegal things with us and looking for him. Uh, he, he kind of nods. He says, I, I wouldn't know myself, although they do tend to hang very close to the Coliseum. All right, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. But yeah, I, I would like to talk to your manager. Yeah, uh, they eventually bring, uh, the manager over. Uh, you do hear him, like, while they're, like, a little further away, while he's just, like, talking to the manager. Uh, you do hear him mention, uh, like, talking up your name. It's like, this guy's a fucking celebrity, I think. Um, the, uh, uh, the manager comes over and he greets you and he's like, uh, hey, it is nice to meet you. You say you're the Jack of Heart? I am indeed. Very good. Well, if you know, uh, Claudio Di Placido... Uh, as uh, my attendant has said, he uh, owes us quite a bit of debt. We would like to know any information you have on the man. Uh, we're looking for him ourselves. We kind of, um, we have a similar issue. Oh, I see. This is to be understood. Is there any way that I can help? Uh, find him. <laughs> yeah, we just need to find him, really. Uh, last time that I've seen him, it was about a week and a half ago. We had to chase him off. He... Did his best to panhandle with some of the money that he had, but he is Wait. not quite good for it. So this is this is these are the Coliseum dudes. So like he's been fighting in the yeah. So he's been fighting in the Coliseum. No, he's been betting. no no no. These, these are the better. He's been betting. Oh, we're, we're he's the, been yeah, betting. We're, we're at the bookies right now. Oh, yeah. Do we go strike a deal with them, or what, if we get what him I'm, to fight? What I'm planning to do is I'm gonna try to when we go find him and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna bring the money back to these people and try to get in good hearts of the city and then get in the uh, Coliseum. I, w I wanna I want I wanna fight him in the Coliseum. <laughs> like hey, if you, like, like convince him like hey, if you fight the Coliseum, like, I'll stay hidden completely. Right? That's a good idea. We're, yeah, we'll run on that. Okay. So so then we'll be like, hey, if you fight the Coliseum, they'll clear all your debt. And oh shit! All right, he goes in there. Who's his opponent? Fucking bada bing, bada boom. You gotta unplug your mic, by the way. Also, fix your mic. Yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, well, uh, we we can try to work him into the call scene. We'll see what we can do. That's a good idea. Uh, but yeah, we're we're just looking for him. Yes, then we can have a little talk, I guess. He hangs around. I see him uh, very frequently. He hasn't uh, run up enough of a debt to bother the guards about it, but. Uh, he is certainly not very well trusted for what he's worth. Has he ever had like the uh, smell of alcohol or anything like? Uh... Oh, most certainly. Although you get that with most of the types around here, the people who tend to bet here uh, tend to not have the most uh, well-off means unless they are from the upper uh, upper districts. Has he ever fought in the Coliseum? No, oh, certainly <clears throat> not. He's certainly not uh, the uh, the strength or candor to do something. Uh, uh, such a feat. Uh, I I haven't been to the uh, Holy Empires in uh, in a long time. How do you guys fare in like a uh, slave trade kind of thing? Of course, we have slaves. If you have the money and coin, uh, you can certainly earn a slave or two. If you try to fight in the Colosseum and win big, has he ever done anything like that? I know he's donated a few slaves about a year ago. That's all I really know of the matter. I only recently started working here. Uh, Out of character, Maul is not a fan of the Holy Empire right <laughs> now. No, it's it's yeah, it's weird. Uh, <clears throat> uh, can you uh, if you point us in the right direction, we'll definitely come back and uh, maybe participate a little bit. I've seen him down the avenues here. There is quite a number of places his ilk would probably frequent. Uh, Probably closer to the the temples in the central square over that direction. He kind of points we, you a little to the southeast. Do we ask them to maybe strike the deal so that it's actually a legitimate thing where, like, if he does come fight, they clear his debt? Not yet. Let's, uh, we can... We can, like, uh, deface that way him. When we go, that way when we go over to him, we're like, hey, no, this is, like, a legit thing. Or we can take him on as a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to just kill him. All right. Well, we'll see when we get there. 
I don't want to like bring up this proposition to them and not have it turn out because I do want to come back later and actually participate, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you guys are going to continue wandering? Uh, in the direction that he... Well, let's go look for a loan shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking around, it's pretty easy. Like, if you go a few blocks away from the Coliseum, uh, they basically have, like, small <laughs> booths erected uh, as, like, you know, like a food cart seller would, uh, except they're, like, trying to grab people off the street, uh, trying to uh, accept, uh, like, a payday loan, essentially. And, uh, like, you you are even called over at some point. They're like, oh, you need some money. We can get you some money real quick. You can get it on the bets. Um. We actually just came by for some information. Information? I could certainly provide some for, if I had some coin, of course. I think this is more your game when I look up at Maul. Wait, what? I think this is more your game. Well, okay, what? what's the rundown? My mom was in here. He's a loan shark, and he wants money or information. Oh! Is he holding out his hand or anything? Uh, he he kind of, like, pointed at your direction. He's not expecting anything. Uh, he might... Uh, uh, he, he may seem to be of the... Uh, of the opinion that you guys don't actually have the money to give, so he's just seeing what he can get out of you. So what what exactly did he say? Uh, you can he don't cough over the dosh, bitch. Yeah, essentially. Uh, we don't negotiate that way. Uh, then there's no information to give, my good sir. Are you sure? Oh, certainly. There's always a price for everything, of course. How sturdy does his thing look? Um, it looks like it could take a few punches. Uh, it's not like uh, a ramshackle or anything. Uh, but there are quite a number of people around, including some guards. Uh, by okay, the way, question. Uh, by the way, I don't know how you're looking in the money department, but uh, I'm not looking good, so I want to spend right. as less as, as possible, least as I'm, possible. I'm, a, I, I'm all right. All right. My money's looking like a thick resolution, you know. That good 1920. Ooh, I don't I'm know. about to say, we talking like 360p. <laughs> Mine's looking like nah, a bad dude. resolution. I meant like a 480. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> in, I'm in full HD, baby. Nah, I'm running that fucking low definition bullshit. I'm fucking, <laughs> fucking the YouTube video couldn't load. You gotta turn that shit down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I tell him, I'm gonna tell him, how about you tell me what I want to know, and maybe your stand will still be here in the morning. Yeah, give me an intimidation check. Ha! 20. Wow, me. He is going to try to resist you, but I don't think he will be able to. Yeah, he's not able to. He kind of like shudders and he's like, listen, friend, I'm simply trying to uh, keep a business here. Whoa, what exactly is it you want to know? I let, I let Jack take the rain now. I wasn't listening. <laughs> I'm typing he, in he chat. He you what we want to know. <clears throat> Uh, we're looking for a, uh, a a rotund lad named Claudio. He kind of has like this big bushy mustache and uh, usually wears this weird hat. Although I assume that's gone now with his. This financial. is nothing I want to talk about. If you know Claudio, I don't do business with him anymore. He's we're... a terrible human being. That's exactly the thing. Can you point us in the direction of him so we can take care of this problem? Like, take care of this as in, you're going to pick him up and put him on his way and get me some of his debt paid back? Or take care of the problem and, you know, he does like the neck slicing motion? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Last place I, I really saw him was like on the avenue B. over there. This is about a day and a half ago. I really like column B. Thank you, my uh, lad. Uh, nice scarf, by the way. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, 
I wish you could tidy. Oh, sorry, go ahead. It, if you do happen to uh, meet your old friend there and uh, make sure things go the right way, <laughs> uh, he drops a small bag of coin onto his little uh, desk. He says, I am sure there's something in it for you as well if you come talk to me again. We'll see how things go. He has a ring. If you can get that, I will give you the gold. Noted. Uh, you ha- look as sweeter as sweeter. Have a uh, ha- have good tidings on this day, my lad. Uh, yeah. Uh, as soon as he says goodbye to you, he immediately grabs someone else off the street, insisting that they get one of his loans. <coughs> okay, I guess we go check out that avenue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you walk al- uh, along uh, near this I very walk large. A lonely road, the only <laughs> road that I have ever. You walk oh, along past this very large uh, temple. Uh, it is quite magnificent and has a, a, a lot of little green space as you walk by. Uh, the alleyways and streets uh, wind and curve as you uh, go through this area. Uh, you hear the clamoring of people nearby. Uh, as you come to the area that you were directed towards. Zoop. Zoop. People. Uh, hey, it's Mez again. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> hey, look, it's, it's you again. My current <laughs> fucking profile. Like, I... <laughs> he passed Korva and he, after he uh, has his bird shit on this guy. We walk and we walk. Yeah, walk you see there are... Uh, several soldiers in this area uh, and several people gathered around there uh, booing a man uh, as Summer has described who seems to be covered in bird shit um, okay. but he is uh, clamoring and hollering uh, some shit about uh, religion. Do we recognize this man at all? He just looks like a dude. He looks like a, a street preacher. Hmm. Wait, how big is this fucking map? It is quite large. Holy shit! Where did he point to? Uh, in this direction. I, I don't see anything. Uh, don't this see is general area. Oh, okay. The city is very large, <laughs> so it's hard to find an individual. Gotcha. Uh, we should probably check Holy taverns. Fuck. Yeah, d- damn, Chris. <laughs> <coughs> <I'm not laughs> Come on. God damn. I thought you bears having a rough time. Big boy map. Big boy map is breaking. Oh, wait. What's the plan? Okay. Uh, uh, so I know you gotta read the thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Did you know this? You have inside a party game. Do it. Okay. Yeah. I did it. I read it. Why did you need to read the thing? I gotta read it until it pops up. Man. Uh. All right, where are we going? What are we doing? That's up to y'all. Preferably taverns. Oh, this is a tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I wait outside and let Jet go inside so that if Claudio is inside, I he does not see me. Actually, Jet. Do you have that thing that makes you look like someone else? I now look like somebody else. Wait, what about me, you dork? You now look like somebody else, too. Great. I look the same, except I got a beard. (laughs) (laughs) I look the same. It's just like one of those string beards with the string, like, really easily to be seen. Yes. Alright, alright, alright. We go in. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, uh, it's a bustling place. You look around uh, uh, a quick scan of the room, Maul, uh, but you do not see any Claudio. Uh, There are quite a number of people here, uh, and the tavern keep uh, calls you over, uh, wishing you a good day, welcoming you in. Where is he? Where's the tavern keep? Which one is it? Eh. Eh. I talked to this man's... You know anyone by the name of Claudio? Claudio the Placido. Yeah, that one. Ah, enough of him. I've seen him every day this week, either begging in front of my business or asking for more drink 
There's so much I can deal with this man. What do you know of him? I just want to find him. Have you seen him today? Not today, but I'm sure he'll come by later today. You can check all of these alleyways. I'm sure he's pissing or shitting in one of them. Did he think he'd be back tonight? He could be. He tends to wander the streets in a stupor. Hmm. What do you want to do, Mo? Hmm. Uh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, John. <laughs> I uh, step outside in the doorway, take a peek around. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I doing this? I just snap and I take off the beard? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I look at this tavern keep up. I, all right. If he comes by here, Try and keep him here as long as you can. Whether it's yeah. alcohol or whatever, I'll pay for it. Uh, you will pay for it. He's racked up a mighty debt, sir. I'll pay for whatever he gets tonight. <laughs> he, he just kind of squints in here. He's like, he kind of like sighs very well. Just keep him here. Be back later tonight. <laughs> Uh, he, he, but he, uh, he gives you one last, uh, direction point. He points you off in that direction, uh, he said somewhere down the alleys or, uh, to check one of the streets. Noted. Thank you, kind sir. I'm just playing with a coin in my fingers. We waddle away, waddle waddle. Then you waddle away, waddle waddle waddle. Yep, yep. Uh, the, the streets here remain busy, even though there's no people. Don't worry about that. I can't make that many tokens. That being said, uh, you, you kind of have to push your way through uh, the area. This is one in one of those trans uh, transitory neighborhoods where it's going a little bit from upper class to lower class. Uh, the further you go north, the more ramshackle the buildings get, especially as you approach the river. This must be a halfling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are there people in this tavern? Uh, yes. Assume there's people in every tavern and down every road. Okay. I go barkeep. Barkeep. Yep, yep. Uh, are, are you going to do the same thing for him? Or are yep. you going to ask him something different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm literally going to ask him if he's seen him. If he hasn't, uh, I'm going to tell him if he comes by, keep him here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he agrees to do that with you, and he says, uh, last time that I saw him was early this morning when I was setting up shop. He tends to hang out by the river. Perfect! Dude, go to the river. Yeah, he, he, before you leave, he's like, uh, I would normally warn you not to go there. There are some shady individuals that tend to hang out there, but you yeah, seem to be up to the snuff. I think I'll do just fine. Oh, waddle away, waddle, waddle. I believe the river's this waddle way. Waddle away, waddle, waddle, waddle. Hey, waddle away, waddle, waddle, waddle. The very next day, bum 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 bum. Uh, wait, this, and, what is this wait, area? Wait. Uh, you, you're you kind of like head through some of the alleys bum, here. Bum, bum. What is that? <laughs> it's my duck. Oh, that's your duck. Hello. Bum, 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 um, bum. Uh, but yeah, as you uh head down uh this small alleyway, the uh, alley itself is quite tight. Uh, it's kind of hard even for you to fit through mall just because you're so broad. Uh, there are a few people who seem to be uh, playing around with some illicit substances uh, in this alley. Uh, but to your uh, surprise, as you turn the corner uh, into this small little open space between a few abandoned buildings, you notice a familiar face. Uh, one of many who are in the uh, small uh, little junk heap that is behind all of these buildings. Holy shit, look at this man. Look at what happened to him. Which one do I recognize? It's <laughs> this uh, one. That one. That dude. There's yeah, this bald one. dude. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Never seen that man in my life. <laughs> no, if you look at the if you look at the World Anvil page, it's literally the, like the same dude. <laughs> he shaved his mustache. Literally on, on the World Anvil page, he's more muscular than you describe. Very He's a beefy bad. boy, actually. Uh, hang on. 
Hang on. I just kind of walk off and then stay like around the corner. I let Jack handle this. I just want to be some random dude, you know, Mike. Hello, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Excuse me, it's Wife Mazowski. I should go up to people and start saying that. He sees himself wrapped in chains. Oh boy. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I have a plan. Uh, and what spell is this for my records? Phantasmal Force. Abbey. They need to make an end save. That's not going to be good. Phantasmagoria. Uh, like, you didn't even need him for like five minutes. You haven't said a single word. He doesn't even see us yet. Because I know him. He doesn't him. even see us yet. Because I know him. He's going to run away. Dun, dun, dun. Zoink, zoink. Uh, I believe that is a failure. He did that at his advantage. Uh, yeah, then. Uh yeah. So as he uh, as you turn the corner, Mole kind of like keeps on walking after they uh, after you see who uh, is there. Uh, he seems to be kind of out of it. There's a, a bottle of alcohol next to him, uh, and he's just kind of sitting slumped up against uh, the uh, building here that's dilapidated and falling apart behind him. Uh, as you turn toward him, you like snap your fingers and. Sh chains uh, wrap around him or at least to his own eyes uh, he begins to just like struggle and freak out the other whoa, two whoa, people whoa, in the whoa. alley uh, the other two people in the alley just kind of like look to him uh, with like a half concern but a half like disregard they're almost not even surprised that this is happening well how'd that happen what who are you, Did you I know your face do you whoa Jack. whoa Claudio? What have you done? Is that you? Of course it's me. Fuck. <laughs> he lost... almost throws up. You lost uh, weight. Shut up. What did you do to me? I didn't... Oh, I'm... St Here, let me help. I, uh, I lean down and I, uh, I unlink the chain. It, it kind of, like, vanishes from his eyesight. He tries to, like, grab onto his arms in a fit. Uh, and he uh, then grabs his half-filled bottle, uh, turning it upside down and holding it like a weapon. What what happened? What happened to you? You fucking ruined everything, you know it. I didn't ruin anything. Yeah, he throws the bottle, it just goes wide. I catch it. <laughs> Slide a hand. Okay, alright, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Uh, twenty. Boom! You do catch it. Uh, it still has quite a bit of alcohol still left in it. It's wine. I hand it back to him. <laughs> he, he takes it back and then just kind of like isn't really sure what to do with it. He like clutches it uh, and kind of like wobbles on his feet. What happened to you? What do you think happened to me, you fucking idiot? I ended up here because you ruined the entire circus. Everyone left after you did. Maybe you should have had more than just me, then. It was more than just you. No one wanted to stick around. No one wanted to hunt for you. Hunt for that stupid beast of an animal that you took with you. <sighs> no uh, one could find you. Hey, Ma! Me. <laughs> I snap, and the seeming goes off before he walks around the corner. Like, he stares at you for a minute, Maul, because he does, he sees you in your disguise, and he's just like, who the fuck is this? And then zzz, the thing shimmers, and you just see this kind of, like, what, how to describe it, like, this raw depression into his face, mixed with this uh, equally raw, just, like, anger. Uh, the, the the depression is in the face, the anger is in the eyes. I, uh, I scratch my cheek. You wanna, you wanna repeat that one? I... It's you. What the fuck is this stupid dream of a life? He throws uh, his bottle onto the ground. Uh, catch wine it. just kind of. I catch it. I can't. <laughs> Slide a hand at advantage. 
Twenty nine. <laughs> Damn. You uh, you grab it with your foot and like floop it up into your hand. I hand it back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, he begins to drink liberally of it. We waste not. <laughs> uh, Maul stay completely silent. Mm -hmm. His arms crossed. We, uh... We have a proposition. Well, what's that? How would you like to be famous again? <laughs> if only that were a possibility. It's all ruined now. Have you heard of the Coliseum? Of course I have. Yeah, I know you have. I've seen the debt. How'd you like to clear <laughs> that all? You can clear debt. Why would you even want to help me anyway? No, you can clear debt. You see, Maul here... He gets a little angry sometimes. Just a little. Don't mention the fact that he's fighting me. Don't mention that. Okay. Let's not mention that. Let's he not mention that one. He gets a little angry sometimes, so uh, he he had a bit of an idea. If you fight in the arena, you clear your debt. I'll pay his debt. No, no, no. I'll pay his debt. And, and Maul will pay you your debt, but only if you win. You'll yeah. He, and if you he, win, you'll be on the track to fame. He just kind of uh, looks you up and down, Maul, uh, and he's like, "This fucking beast. You can clear a debt." I take out my coin pouch and just start flipping coins up in the air and catching them. Uh, he, I have 1,920 gold pieces. Uh, he he kind of like drinks some more out of his thing uh, and uh, gives a loud belch uh, before saying, what am I even supposed to do in the fucking arena? I can't fight with shit. I, uh, I reach to Maul's back and I pull off his whip and I throw it on the ground. You fought before. You could fight again. If you win, just kinda like... your debt's gone and all your problems disappear. Hmm. Give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Damn. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, he kind of like reaches down and picks up the whip. He just kind of like holds it for a minute, like uh, turning it over in his hand. Uh, it's kind of hard to see how well he's studying it because it seems like his vision's not entirely there. He's like, I mean, I pretty think zoned out on way. alcohol. Yeah, I think he'd recognize it, but he just doesn't really say anything. Uh, and uh, he just kind of like looks to you, looks back at it, uh, throws it at your feet, uh, and then just kind of like stumbles himself back down to where he was sitting before. And he says, "No interest." I'd rather just die in this alleyway. I look over to these other two. Uh, yeah, one of them seems to be like completely high on something. Uh, the other one's just kind of like passively listening to the conversation. This is like his entertainment for the day. What if they joined you? I'm sure they <laughs> wouldn't mind to have a little fun and their debts released too. Uh, oh, 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 the the one who's da dazed and confused uh, seems to have heard what you said and is now looking in your direction, uh, but he's looking past you. Uh, the other one is like, uh, oh, no way. If I went into that place, I'd get killed in the first five minutes. Hmm. I mean, it all depends on who they're fighting. What if it was 3v1? Uh, uh, the the guy uh, approaches you and like kind of like pats you on the the shoulder, Jack, and he's like, hey, "It's too much fun for me. I'll go uh, find my own way." Uh, by the way, you want any bliss? Mm, you just keep on walking, my guy. He, he does just that, and he just kind of like uh walks on down the alleyway. You hear him <laughs> sniff something up into his nose as he walks away. I grab onto my purse, make sure that everything's there. Yeah, he, he, like, tapped you on the shoulder, so you don't feel like he tried to steal anything. But you can check, also, and, nothing's mo and nothing's missing. You never know. We can, also, we can also offer to cover his bar tab. What if he covered your bar tab, too? Every single debt you have in this town and in any other town. All of this for being in the arena. You have to die for it. Nobody said you'd die. He just kind of, like, looks to both of you. Uh, crawls over and picks up the whip again. 
uh, and then like finishes off the last of the bottle, throwing it away. It breaks over in the corner of the various buildings. He's like, all right, fine. I'll go sign up for the arena. You think you can actually pay off my debt? But by your word, we'll have that notarized. I know how you two play now. To be honest, we just want a show. I'm done with shows these days. Uh, he, he seems to be uh, walking past you, uh, heading over Can to I... probably the Coliseum. Is he as drunk as he's acting? He is very drunk. Okay. We could wait till he sobers up. At least let him sober up to fight, you know? I don't think he knows how to sober up. Just don't give him alcohol, he'll sober up. Let's follow, we'll follow him to the Coliseum. And, uh, and, uh, when we get there, I'm gonna have a little talk with the, with the, with the, whoever sets up the matches. That is a thing you can do. Uh, you guys kind of, like, are you follow, walking with him? Or are you, like, letting him go his own way and, like, kind of following along? I'm walking with Maul, because I did my part. This is his game now. No, I'm letting you lead until we get to the Coliseum. Still. Okay. Then I'm just following. There's no reason to hide. Yep. Very I good. Bit, I hang a little bit further back. Yeah. He kind of uh, wanders through the space, uh, through each of the various uh, avenues here. Uh, he gets heckled quite a bit from people uh, who seem to know him, probably people who he owes. Uh, I, uh, and he just kind time, of like... Every time he gets heckled, I, uh, I walk up to the person and uh, I, I put my hand on their shoulder and I lean in close to their ear. All your problems will be solved soon enough. Come to the Coliseum at whatever time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a 1d20 and a 1d100, please. R slash 1d20. 7 R slash 1d100. 7, 35. Interesting. Wow, that sucked. Hey, we got a lot of nat 20s. Though. It is true. You, you had a lot, lot of we, Hey, we got to this point. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, you got to pay it off somehow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dun dun dun! But yeah, uh, you make your way back over toward um, the Coliseum itself. Um, you guys are kind of like trailing behind. Uh, the you pass by the loan shark you had spoken to earlier, and he just kind of like eyes first Claudio, and then you guys, and he just kind of gives you a, a stern nod. Uh, Claudio heads into the uh, Coliseum itself and uh, speaks to several of the. Uh, attendance uh, on like the uh, on the other side from the bookies, uh, and he seems to sign up for a match at the Coliseum. Um, after that, uh, he has a person called over, uh, and this person uh, kind of like writes up a contract. Uh, he points the man over to you, and uh, you guys are called over while you see him just kind of like wander out into the large avenue, uh, continuing on his bottle. Uh, when you are brought over to the the man that he directed you to, uh, you're presented with a contract, uh, and it's essentially saying the agreement that you outlined for him. Uh, if he somehow wins in the Coliseum, you're going to pay all of his debts. Who's who? Who? Who is this contract with? Uh, it is with uh, a official uh, who is uh, working with the Imperial government, uh, someone who oversees at this Coliseum, basically just a notary. Also, also, I don't want him running off on his own. Yeah, he's just kind of like stumbling out into the street. He's not going to get far. We're keeping him in the Coliseum. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to do this. Could just sign it. There's no way he's going to win. There was a chance. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. I just sign it. <laughs> Yeah, we just sign it. There's no way he's going to win. I was thinking of a fine print kind of thing. Just write it in, but... Because he'd be too drunk to understand. But I can't think of anything. I can't think of a way to word it. I, uh, I go over to the... While Jack deals with the with Claudio and, you know, make sure that he stays at the Coliseum and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wander off and not show up. I'm going to go over to the... Uh, 
to the um to the dudes that actually set up the matches. Yep, yep. I'm like, I'm fighting Claudio tonight. Uh, they 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 kind of nod to you and they're like, well, the matches are randomized. It'll be on the uh, the tier system. Uh, you are uh, fighting tonight in the naval battles. But whenever Claudio is fighting, alley. no, listen. Whenever Claudio is fighting, I want to be the one to fight him. Right. Uh, he he kind of like is like hold on a second. He goes to talk to uh, one of the attendants that you had just talked to, and he gets like sp- briefed on everything that had just happened. And he's like, "Okay, sir, yeah, that person is certainly signed up. Why should you fight him, though?" We go way back. I got a score to settle. Uh, there are scores to settle in every single bar also, in the city. I also pay him. Uh, how much should I pay? Hmm. I flash 20 gold. Would this be enough? <laughs> he kind of like looks at it and just laughs and he says, You're trying to bribe me, sir. You'll have to uh, fight in the Coliseum of your own accord. What about a thousand? I, uh, <laughs> I don't think being paid off is anything necessary. I feel like... Listen, all right, we're, we're both show runners, all right? I, I understand where you're looking, and this is going to be a good show, all right? If you don't do this, you're missing an opportunity. I went through the town, and I talked to a bunch of people and set up this game, all right? This match, okay? So, like, if you don't bring him in for this, for a, a Maul versus Claudio, you're making a mistake. He kind of. Uh, I am. I am a gladiator. Uh, he he thinks on that. Give me a persuasion. Can I have mall support? Oh, you don't have. Never mind. You don't have the thing in it. Boop. Seventeen. Seventeen. You say. Seventeen. You say. Seventeen. I said. Um. Yeah, he, he kind of, like, looks to you, thinks it over for a minute, and he says, All right, if you can bring, I'd say, 50 people here, if you want to see that Claudio fool earn his ways, at least in the arena, then we'll have a deal. All right. Easy. When, his, when he comes out, I'll be waiting in the stands, front row. If you're satisfied with the amount of people, call me down. Very well. And uh, he kind of like is, uh, gives you his hand. You guys shake on it. Mm-hmm. Now let's make sure Claudio stays in the arena. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, he's just kind of uh, like near the entrance where people are filing in. He's uh, smoking what seems to be uh, some pipe weed. Okay. How do we get 50 people to show up? Well, we got 11. How do you know we got 11? Circus. Oh, right. How many do you think we got from the 7 and the 35? Oh, no, we got 10. I'm sorry. We got 10. Dagan's dead. We got 10. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many do you think we got from, from the that 7 and 35? 35. We're probably at 45. Mm, at least I assume what that's not a safe bet, though, because Chris I assume has that's what a, the 100 is. Okay, well, then what's the 7? How well I did it, I guess. I don't know. So if you got a seven on how well you did it, then dude, I don't. Not- dude, I don't know what those rules were for. I just fucking <laughs> did what I was told. <laughs> I mean, like. All right, all right, all right. All right. In reality, I can just like. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna Fantasma do. force him. I go back. No, no, no. Listen, I go back to the tavern, right? Mm-hmm. The one that I I talked to, the two that I talked to earlier. And I go to each of them. I'm like, hey. Claudio's gonna be fighting in the arena. Do, do we know which night? Do they, do we uh, night? Basically tomorrow. Tomorrow. Get as many people to show up, and I guarantee you'll get everything you've ever wanted. Yeah, give me a persuasion check as well. Can Jack assist? Me? Yes. Oh wait, no, I can't. I, I don't have. I don't have advantage in persuasion. I just have a natural. Six. Have proficiency. Reaper. Proficiency. Thirteen. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, he, he seems to nod, and he says, uh, I might find my way there by tomorrow. All right, tell anybody that comes in here as well. Spread the word, and I give him ten gold. Uh, you do so. Uh, doing that at the variety of taverns that you uh, investigated in. Uh, if you want to do that, uh, yeah, if you want to do that same deal, it would be 40 gold total. Deal. Cha-ching. That is the um, thing that you do. I give uh, do one you... extra gold to the last tavern we go to. <laughs> well, I go, I go I'm to definitely lone... coming now. Hey, <laughs> I go to that. I go to that loan shark. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I tell him, "Hey, for the time being, you're not a loan shark. You're gonna spread the word. All right. There's gonna be a amazing fight in the arena tomorrow night." I'm sure there are others amazing fights every single day, my friend. I whispered his ear. It's Claudio. Say no more. We need a no large more. turnout. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Turnout. So make oh, it yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he is already like gathering up things from his desk and uh, is like shutting down for the day, essentially. Uh, he kind of walks around his little desk though, and like uh, pats you on the uh, the arm, uh, and he says, "Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure it's a good show. But kill him and give me the ring. Only if you manage to get fifty people to show up. Easy. Okay, we're done. Pretty sure we covered our bases. Huh?" I assume we fast forward to tomorrow. Uh, anything else that we want to do? Well, uh, you guys have a tavern that you met up with your group. Um, that evening, I assume you all go there. Uh, by this time, uh, Corva and Gareth have returned to Calderum. Uh, after their little sojourn out to uh, the northeast, uh, you guys all meet up at some point, uh, probably over drinks. What are you going to do? Hey, Ma. We want to die. Me too. Yeah, it was up. Do we like prep you for tomorrow? Like, you know, like clean shave, oil you up, you know, whole, whole 10 miles? The beard stays. Oil you up? Nah, I think I'm alright. Alright. I assume at this point we're saying this in front of Korva and, and Gareth, who know nothing. You guys are doing shit tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Everybody them. go to the Coliseum! I'll pay for you. What's going on? A fight. Oh. I I'm, keeping, will... I'm keeping the fact that I'm fighting a, a secret. I'll... Pro... I'm gonna be here. Corva? Hi. If anything I've done for you is of uh, the little bit importance... Please come to this fight. This isn't for you, this is for the circus. Not even for the circus, this is, this is for me. One, you guys don't even know what the fuck we found out today. Uh, two, my boyfriend's on his way here to kill me. Three, we still need to talk to an emperor about his dead daughter. Four, we're suffering. Korva? We can do all that after the call of you. We will do all of this. Immediately after the Coliseum fight. Uh, I mean, I you said it was tomorrow night. Let's we can probably do some things during the day. Let's just take uh, it, It's probably call. closer to midday when the fight happens, but uh, oh. then you'd have the whole day to, uh, to yourself. Oh, okay. Put life on I'm... pause for a second and just enjoy the Coliseum. Just once. I need this. Okay. What? This. I need you to show up. Why do you need me to show up? Because we promised you know, we get 50 time, people. After all this time together, I thought you'd trust me a little bit more. I trust you enough. Why do I need to go to a coliseum? I'm asking. I have a surprise. An amazing show. It might help you relax. You get to see some blood get spilled. We see that every day. We can take drugs. Yeah, that's kind of what we do. Yeah, but this is legal. 
What? What? I mean, is killing monsters illegal? We don't uh, kill just monsters. I don't see. I disagree. We I haven't really killed many people. Okay, I'll go. I want to go to bed and read this book, though. Okay. Books. Yay! Okay. Books. Books. I am Jay. Well, well, I'm we'll share what we learn with you to to tomorrow. I, I don't want to yeah. talk about it here, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll share with you guys what we learned later. We're gonna, we're gonna go somewhere very secluded. After the Coliseum, we're all yours. Mm hmm. No, we're all the emperors because we gotta get into there. Well, we, we're going to my place first. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta go to Kimberly tomorrow. <laughs> okay, everyone go to bed. Everyone goes to bed. Uh, you guys uh, no. wake Whoa. up. Huh, Whoa. Chris, Whoa. You, mm -hmm. we have been waiting to read our books for three weeks. You All think? Right. You think? Well, you've been waiting for me to read my book. Yes, no, can I, can I read my book first? Because I'm sure mine's going to take a lot less time. Sure. Uh, so, um, which book are you trying to read? I'm going to read the star no, book. Not. I'm going to like one of the roof 19, of the tab. And I never fucking learned how to read. That is the thing you can do. Uh, you, uh, take some time to read the star book. Uh, as you, uh, read the star book, uh, on the roof of this inn, um, you do see that the, uh, uh, the, the various literature that is along these, uh, generally when you've read it in the daytime, uh, it's like facts and figures and, uh, various, uh, uh, astronomy, uh, just science shit. Uh, as you read it now at night, though, it seems to be uh, a bit poetic. Uh, do you speak celestial? I do. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me. I must look for a thing. Dun, dun, dun. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to die. I mean, I'm already going to be dying soon. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, you see a variety of, uh, like, basically all of the, uh, all of the scientific information has transitioned somehow, uh, as if by magic into, uh, various stanzas of poetry. Uh, you're not really sure what that means, but it's very beautiful to read. Uh, it's all written in celestial as well. Mm hmm Do you do anything while you're reading? I mean... Is, is there something I can do while I'm reading? You can do anything. I mean, I want to look into the future with it. That'd be lovely. Mm hmm Any date in the future in particular? A uh, few weeks, then a few months, then a few years. Yeah, you check with the index and then uh, hop to the pages that are relevant for the uh, times that you're looking for. Uh, you, you sift through these pages and they seem to... Uh, give uh, a quite interesting char star charts. You kind of compare them with uh, the stars that are out today, uh, analyzing the constellations in the book and then comparing them to what is up in the sky. Uh, is there anything else you do? Mm, can I look at tonight? Yeah. Uh, looking at tonight, uh, it seems to match almost eerily perfect, uh, as if the author knew exactly what the sky would look like tonight. Uh, you measure all the constellations in their exact position to where the book says they will be. That's fucking creepy. Um, is there in the, in like the index like any particular page that they like say is like worth noting? Uh, not really. It's just a whole lot of star charts. Can I? God, how long ago was the Moon's Cry? Uh, Moon's Cry was about 1,500 years-ish. Can I look back at that? Uh, give me a history check. I mean... Mm. Whew! Yeah, uh, you try to confer that with various dates that you know of the Moon's Cry, and you're able to find a general, like, month-long period, uh, when you're pretty sure that the Moon's Cry actually took place. Um, looking through that, uh, is there anything that you are looking for in particular? Just alignment, really. Uh, what do you mean alignment? Of the cheese, of the stars. Of the cheese? What? 
Um, I'm making a joke. That's the only thing that's, that's aligned. I mean, yeah. Uh, they they seem to be more star charts that are listed of those days. Uh, one odd thing you do note uh, sifting through uh, this month mm-hmm. is that uh, the month prior to the one that you're reading uh, based on the moon's cries date, mm-hmm. uh, it, it used to list a moon that uh, is not in the sky presently. There used to be two of them. And then uh, after a certain date, there is yeah. one. Ah, uh, beautiful. Aww. Can I, like, give a prayer? It's like, hey, is there any date that you guys think I should check out? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, are you just kind of, like, praying in general? Ah, is any of the four of them decide to respond? Okay, give me a religion check. Eh, eh. Yeah, uh, I you're... wasted the net twenty. I would have rather the net twenty be there. You, you kind of like gaze up to the stars. You kind of like think to yourself, uh, trying to speak to the gods, uh, asking if uh, they have uh, any date they you should look up in particular. Any uh, into my life. What the fuck do I do with this? Uh, however, let me see. Uh, could you roll a one d twenty? Yes. I don't like that, boo. Five. Dun dun dun, excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. All right, yeah. Uh, As you uh, turn your eyes back to the book, uh, you do note that all of the uh, text which is still written in poetic stanzas talking about the stars and the moon and all that stuff, is glowing a light blue color as if it were a star itself. Uh, It just shimmers and you kind of like flip through the pages. Each of the poems on the pages seem to glow this uh, distinct uh, shimmering sensation. Uh, After uh, about a minute or so, they just turn back to ink and it goes back to normal. Uh, You felt like a radiance coming from the book, uh, although nothing has seemed to happen. Oh. Oh? Uh-huh. Can I try doing, like, a more straightforward prayer to see uh, how it reacts to it? Uh, you do just a simple prayer mm-hmm. of whatever you say. Uh, the book begins to glow once again. Uh, okay. y- you already made your check for the night, though, so uh, it does basically the, the same thing. Uh, it-, it shimmers and uh, seems to react to your prayer, uh, but nothing seems to happen tonight. Upset. I'm upset. Okay, I'll read my evil book, too, personally. Uh, understood. Also, uh, until the next dusk, you now know which way is north. Uh, you know how many days are left until the next sunrise and sunset. Uh, you can detect the nearest portal to the material plane within five miles, and you can cast detect evil and good and protection from good uh, evil and good, each at will uh, until the next dusk. We already knew all that. Okay. I'm just saying what you can do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, then you uh, hop into your, your other book uh, and read some more maddening chapters Yay. that seem to ramble on uh, page Why after page. Why does the fort keep turning left at the garbage disposal? What's a garbage disposal? Uh, are you going to read it tonight, Zelf, or do you want to wait? Uh, I can yes. read it tonight. We could wait if we just want to get the Coliseum stuff over with. Yeah, I I, I kind of want to. I just, just want to see I the give... Emperor already, man. I just want to give... see the Emperor we'll, already. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it after Coliseum. Yeah. Move to. We move to tomorrow. I don't even uh, know what I was going to say to the Emperor anymore. <laughs> uh, the night passes into day. Uh, Maul, it is your big day. Oh, wait, do we want to go to Kimberly now, real quick, Zelf? I don't even remember where uh, we were going. I, let's just wait till I, let's let us let's let Maul get all this stuff. Yeah. I don't remember any. Okay. So Trust long. us, Jack. It's gonna change a whole lot when we when we get to the information. Yeah. So long. Just just wait until we get to the information. Uh. What? Yeah. All right. Go go, Maul. Your turn. Bear. You fell asleep. Bear. He fell asleep. It's over. Is he dead, Jim? Bear! 
I tried. Oh, howie. <laughs> Who can truly say where the road goes? Oh. And guys, I love life. <sighs> Kick. Bear. Bear, please. <laughs> Bear. Please. Bear. <laughs> Really? really? I mean, you could call him. One second, fixing my mouth. He could be having a potty break as well. It's entirely oh, possible. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Pee break. Guess we're having a pee break. I don't think he fell asleep. He wasn't tired, and he was really excited. It's only been like five minutes. <laughs> like, I know people that can fall asleep that fast, but he didn't seem like he was tired. Sometimes it does be like that. <sighs> This gives me a chance to do a thing. Chris, how much does a how much does a scroll case cost? A scroll case? Yeah, just like Probably a case like for a scroll. Four or five gold. Also, oh, um, can, I, it be can I just go? Can I just go buy one of those before the fight? Cha Ching, you have one. Can it be assumed that I just read my book every night? And uh, yeah. Starts, like, I'll just go to the roof of a t whatever tavern we're on, or if we're on the road, of course, I'm doing it under the stars, so I'll just be making religion checks every night. That is the thing you can do. Okay. I put the papers in the scroll case. You know the papers, Chris. Ah, oh, yes. I put them in the scroll case. We need to burn those. <laughs> we're just oh, sorry, we're burying them we're with burying. a dead body. We're burying them with our favorite dead body. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, kinda. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not an incorrect statement. Yeah, it's our favorite dead body. Not an incorrect statement. There. <laughs> call him. Yeah, call yeah. him. At this point, call him. We've only been in session for an hour. God damn it. I don't think he fell asleep. I don't think he fell asleep. He he did not seem tired enough to fall asleep just like that. Yeah, I know, but he's also <laughs> really tired when he did it last time. And it wasn't really like this is his moment. I think he would push himself to stay up. I just don't know where the fuck he could have gone. <laughs> There he is. Hello. Ah. Do your shit. I'm gonna go take a poop. Well, wow. It's your time to shine. My time. A good reason to give insane old bitch. Oh, 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 uh, that's why. Tell a joke. Did you know that horses sometimes poop brown? Not you, <laughs> insano. Corn dog, uh, corn dogs are just meat. Give us, cookies. give us the old, give us an old joke from Tasha's hideous joke book. Corn dogs oh are just meat Twinkies. <gasps> oh. Coffee is just bean juice. Wait, it's Sato. It's true. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Corn dogs are just meat Twinkies. Yep. All right, we're all here. Bear, let's go. Do your yep. thing. Uh, okay. Fuck him up. Though the morning has come, do you have anything you're gonna do? Uh, no. Let's yep. Go to, the, go to the Coliseum when time comes. All right. I'll uh, sure you... get myself a front row seat. Yep. I buy popcorn. Uh, midday uh, comes along in its due time, um, and uh, the Coliseum uh, quickly fills up with quite a hefty amount of people. Uh, the tickets are one gold, so for everyone, please deduct that. That being said, um... They didn't take 10 silver. I mean, um, but, uh, yeah. 
Uh, you see the very large Colosseum that is here. I did not do the thing properly. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> um, and throughout the, uh, the first few hours, uh, you see several people uh, do combat within the arena. Uh, there's an announcer who uh, sits over in Why is he, why is he direction. himself? Don't worry about it. Um, but uh, uh, there's some announcers that sit under this little like paddock uh, w uh, <laughs> calling out the various plays and uh, contenders uh, who are participating. Uh, hey, hey, where's one seat? Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the combat is fierce, uh, and there doesn't seem. Memes. What was that? Good night, farm fresh memes. Ah, uh, the combat is uh fierce, but uh honorable in its own way. Uh, it is a simple trial by combat each time, and the crowd is uproarious. Uh, every single time someone gets taken down, uh, determining whether they uh will live or die on that particular day. No deaths today. Uh, that being said, uh, eventually it is the time, and uh, the uh, announcer calls in uh, Claudio's name. Do, 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 boink. And uh, slowly walking out. Uh, give me an insight check uh, for those interested. And let me know what you get. Damn it! What is this song? No. Fuck that song. Well, there's, a, there's a natural 20 in there from Crow. Natural 20 <laughs> and a 21 and a 13 and a 6. Um, yes. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, uh Crow. I also, uh, wait, before this, I wanted to find, I wanted, I would have found out weapon or no weapon. What do you mean? Is weapon. the fight weapon or no weapon? Oh, weapons. 100% weapon. Got it. Um,. But yeah, uh, you do see uh, Claudia walk out into the ring uh, for Jack and Corva. You can tell that uh, he's probably been drinking a little, but he's nowhere near as uh, uh, drunk as he was yesterday, Jack. Uh, and he just kind of walks out into the uh, uh, arena. Uh, as the crowd kind of like claps, you do hear a lot of boos out in the crowd, though, uh, from a variety of people. And you also see that a large amount of those people are sitting over in one of the sections of the Coliseum. Um, around the familiar face of the Lone Shark that you had seen, uh, who does not boo or cheer. He just sits patiently. That's Her. him? That? That's him? Mm-hmm. You can take him. You're, you're wasting your time on a pop tart like that? It's personal, Corvo. I could fist fight him. <laughs> yeah, the way he is now. Don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, and uh, the announcer says, and then little for you know, little did you know, Chris made this CR twenty five. Yeah. He has ten legendary actions. He's a level yeah. He's a level ten fighter. He's a level twenty fighter. I mean, I gave you, uh, I give you Bear's Endurance because I assume, assume his, his whip could be like poisoned or something. I don't think he's that. I mean, the whip did come off of me and the whip isn't anything special. It's just a plus one whip. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but yeah, uh, the announcer then, uh, proclaims, uh, and then for his contender, Maul Manthrower. Woo! I just jumped down. Woo! You land and like dust gets kicked up as you go. Uh, uh, Claudio Bye -bye. seems like a bit surprised uh, by the announcement, uh, but it just kind of shrugs it off, gives it like a little stretch of his arms and kind of like wobbles into a combat uh, position, uh, twirling his whip a few times. Uh, he seems ready to go. He has nothing to say either. I just call out either. to him. I just call out to him. How's this for a deal? You beat me, you get to take my money, and you're rich. Hmm. I'm. I, that's already kind of the deal, though. No, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm yeah. Just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I know that's the deal. He's just reciting the deal. Yeah, is yeah, this that's to fair. a death fight? Yes. <laughs> Did, was it the it is now. Is it to the death fight? Yes. No. Yeah. DM? 
Uh, that is up for the contester, uh, contenders, rather. Yes. Um, that being said, he is going to do his thing. Ooh, he gets to go first. Yummy. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys are instructed to like stand here and here. I think that's even. Hold on. Close enough. Do I get all Close of my enough. equipment or just my weapons? Like, you can have. You can bring whatever you want into the arena. Uh, but it's considered honorable to fight without armor. Without armor? But that is up to you. Without uh, armor. Uh, hmm. Do you give you, this man an honorable fight? Uh, you see that uh, he seems to be wearing his clothing. Whether he has uh, armor under that uh, is questionable, but it's certainly not good armor. I mean, I don't technically have armor on. I mean, well, yeah, I but know. mechanically you do. Not mechanically you do. You're wearing plate armor. Yes, you're wearing. Guys, armor. without my without my plate, my AC is 14. You also I, have a shield. You also have like, health. And I also have a million health. Yeah. You also don't need to even use the shield. You have a million. You health. also do a shit ton of damage. Yeah. You're underestimating yourself. The playlist is full. The playlist has a hundred songs. Jesus Christ! Wait, I, 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 think, I don't think you need terribly high AC to fuck Is that fuck for your song up. request? Yeah, they've. That's the, impressive. I've been playing like, them like, at, pretty often. Like, without armor, his AC is only thirteen. Best you're looking at is like, fifth, like fourteen or fifteen. Take off the armor, pussy. Like you don't I need did. it. I already did. I have fourteen AC. Okay. You have done the wow, diddle. you took off your armor? What a pussy. <laughs> I know, right? What a bitch. I just oh. gestured for him to make the first move. Oh, interesting. So you're forgoing your turn. No, he gets to go first. He rolled high. But Claudio rolled higher initiative. I thought he rolled 15. He did. Maul rolled, rolled 13. 13. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was looking at your AC, not your initiative. Wowie. Uh, cool deal. Uh, yes, yes, yes. As such, uh, he just kind of like, uh, walks over here, I'd say. Actually, how far can he move? That is the better question. Stay right there, sir. Go back. Go back. Dun, dun, dun. That's as far as he can move. Actually, he can go one more. Boink. Uh, and with his whip, he's going to, uh, lash out at you. Can I use my reaction to try and catch the whip? Uh, you would need an impressive sleight of hand, but you may try. I don't think it's worth a reaction. Not like I need it for anything else. Oh! Oh my god, god. Uh, so... <laughs> this is gonna go poorly. Uh, give me a, uh, strength check. Athletics or just strength? We have gotten... So many natural 20s. Yeah, it's true. And Athletics. no nat 1s. This is going yeah. to bite our ass. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's almost another nat 20. <laughs> almost. Uh, uh, yeah, you disarm him of his whip. Five nat 20s, zero nat 1s. This is They're going to coming. bite us in the Don't ass. Don't worry, I'm dying tonight. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, you're dying. I'm sorry. Um, Pick a direction to throw the whip. I don't throw it. Oh, what do you do with it? I take it. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. The whip is in your hands now. Um, then he's going to use the rest of his actions uh, to draw a dagger, which he is then going to throw at you. Okay. Zink, one dagger. Zink, two dagger. Uh-huh. Uh, and I assume both of those hit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they just land in your chest just for five damage each. Hits. Okay. Uh, and that makes it your turn. I coil the whip up, put it on the back of my belt. That. Uh -huh. I look at it and say, my turn. Shit. Shit. His AC is not going to be that high. Uh, the both of those hit, yes. Hunk, hunk. What if he said miss? I, I'd be impressed. Oh, His AC is actually 50, so... Uh, uh, so that's... 7, 8, uh, 12, 
plus two, plus six. He was Bahamut of the so whole So 20. Time. For the first one. Uh, and then, uh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, five, six, ten, eighteen, uh, twenty-one for the second one. Kunk. <laughs> action surgeon end this day. <laughs> but you also promised a show. This is kind of a beating. No. Hey, you got put on a little bit of show. Yeah, I, 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 I'm. I, I this stopped. pussy ain't even gonna last three rounds. Just use your action I search. Stopped. No, 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 nope, 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 nope. I stopped there. That would've been funny. It's like, you didn't even last two rounds, buddy. Get dick done. And then I just crowd, I just, uh, I just stand in front of him. I sheathe my maul, and I stand in front of him with my arms crossed. Oh, are you gonna punch him to death? <laughs> punch him to death. Yeah, so uh, that's the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, and where is the whip right now? Um, coiled on my back. Yeah, you should have just been all fist the whole time. Uh, okay. He is going to that would, do... That would have gone forever. That would be too long. Not really. He can do a pretty hefty amount of damage. Uh, but he's going to do his best to try to grab that whip. He probably will fail. Oh, actually, that is enough. <laughs> he grabs the whip from behind you as he pivots around you to here. Uh, he's then stepping away from you. Uh, no, he's not. Dun, 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 dun. You're gonna Gotta hit him. Yeah, punch him. Oh, yeah. Boom. Smack him right in the face. Uh, he's right here. God, he's not gonna last another punch. <laughs> uh, uh, you hear the, the crowd jeer uh, at him, uh, booing at Claudio as he's just getting pummeled. Uh, and he is going to use all of his actions uh, to whip at you. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Minus seven. Minus five. And minus five. Um, is it my turn? It is your turn. I pick him up by his shirt. All right, give me an athletics check. Everything at this point is non-lethal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, a 12. Wait, I have Bull's Endurance. <laughs> he, he does no, not, he does not succeed I, anyway. Uh, no, I have Bull's Strength, sorry. Bull's Strength. No, you have Bear's Endurance. Oh, I do. You have uh, baton. He, he Either way, he does not succeed. He yeah. is grappled. Why'd you give me Bear's Endurance and not He gave me temp HP. Poison. Oh, I didn't even take that temp HP to account. I thought you gave me Bull's Strength. Uh, uh, HP was it? Four? Four, so I'll add four. I have 86 health now. You have him grappled. He is grappled. Everything at this point is not lethal. I throw him over here. Oh, uh, which way I wasn't looking? Uh, over here. Over there? Uh, yes, give me another athletics check. And I, I'll just yell at him. How does it feel? Did, did that click? Uh, it did click. <laughs> he goes over there. He's able to land on his feet, uh, uh, but he like tumbles a few times after uh, before he does so. Uh, and he just yells back at you. It's the first thing I felt in years. Then I'm glad it's very shit. I walk over to him. <laughs> you do so. Uh, <laughs> that was my action. Mm hmm. Anything no, else? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay right there. Uh, Coolio. Um, give me a deck save. Can I see this? Uh, he is uh, wait, making wait. an. Wait, he's wait. taking an action upon you. That is a different Goliath. It's a different Goliath. Yeah. I get my Goliaths confused. A ten plus two. He uh, whips uh, his whip around your leg, pulls you and yanks you down. You are prone at this moment, giving him advantage. Uh, and he's going to take two more attacks on you. All right. Hold on. Well, there was one. more. One. There's the other one. Well, I mean, technically, you can roll another for advantage. That here. is true. He could he could have crit, but he did no. not. Uh, so you take uh, seven and six. 
Oh no, he's just looking almost at 75 HP. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's 75%. He's going down. Oh, God. You, you, see that, over. you see that Claudio's uh, pretty winded. He's bleeding in several places, uh, but he's standing uh, in the ready position. He doesn't move away from you this time. He learned from last time. I just simply laugh. You know, a hearty chuckle. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, it was cute. Smart. Cute. I uh, simply stand up. Right. And then I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh, pick him up. Right. That would be another athletics check. Wow, another 12. <laughs> oh my god, he's so bad. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. I don't think he succeeds. Yeah, he still doesn't succeed. No. He almost did. He got 11. I didn't do a deck save. Uh, but he so still it's, fails. It's he only still acrobatics or athletics to... It's not a deck save to evade grapple. Ow. Well, it's, it's the athletics same. or acrobatics. Yeah, it's the same anyway. So he still fails. But he still got close. Um, okay. I want to take him over to the stands, but that's too far. Technically. I mean, you can hold him and grapple. It basically just means he'll whip at you. Uh, and, like, he can keep attacking you as you drag him. Um, no, no, no. I'm bear hug. I want to bear hug him. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just how mechanically it works. He's just kind of, like, Mechanically, you. yeah. Mechanically, you can't stop him. From being yeah, you'd have to restrain him. So, basically, yeah. like, tie him up. Can I restrain him with my arms? No. no. What the fuck? Uh, but you can drag him while grab. I will do so. Uh, show me where. I take him over here. Yoink. Ugh. And I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna lift him up to the stands. Mm -hmm. Right? And I want everyone to just have their, get a little, like, slap him on the face, you know? Spit on him, do whatever you want to him. Yeah, that's basically exactly what happens as you like heft him up. People like ah, blah, blah, they just kind of like slap him, and throw I start food on him, spit on him. him around the Coliseum. All right, uh, that'll be a few turns of action. So he's gonna whip you for each of those. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those are a lot of hits. He's actually quite accurate. Uh, that thirteen isn't a hit. That thirteen is not a hit. Well, that's four. Minus four is five. It adds up. He's doing way better than I thought he would. He would have been dead a long time ago, though. Minus four. And I still don't worry. I think that's a total of 47 damage. 43. Oh. Where did I stop? Uh, that 13. So minus 43. six. Well, he already started, so it's hard he to go back. Started. Minus seven. Seven. Oh yeah, you look I good. hope he takes you down now because now, 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 you, guys, now, now. you guys do realize I still have second wind, right? The second I'm, wind I'm, and your action finished. surge. Yeah, like I'm I'm fine. Okay, and then minus Uh and because you're kinda like wandering around, I'm gonna say you ended up over here. <laughs> well and then I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him back to the center. Dun dun dun. He needs to do his save. Yoink. Which he succeeds again. Uh, give me an athletics check, though. 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Alright. I walk up to him. You walk up to him. Actually, I don't walk up to him. You don't walk up grovel. to him? I let him grovel for a second. I assume that all those hits took their toll. Uh, all, all the hits of, like, what? The audience? Yeah. Uh, like, they weren't hitting too hard. Uh, like, he seems a little, like, bewildered by it. Uh, because he didn't really have much of a choice but to, uh, just take it, uh, uh, on his own. I threw, but, uh, a, threw a very heavy chair at him. No oh boy. <laughs> Wait, you did? No. <laughs> I'm joking. I was concerned. I just bashed, okay. him, over, I just bashed him over the head with the chair. Okay. <laughs> I'm um, the contender now. Um, 
But yeah, he seems a bit dazed uh, and just kind of out of it. Although how much of it, that was his current state already is hard to say. It is still your turn. Oh. Well, I don't... Mm. Unless you do nothing, he'll take his turn. I'll action surge and I'll end this. Oh boy. I, uh, I grab him by the back of his shirt collar, right? Sort of like dragging him like behind me. Mm-hmm. I yell, I yell at everyone and I ask them, Are you satisfied? <laughs> okay, what is it? What would I have heard more prominently? Uh, a, a lot of angry people. Okay, but are they satisfied? Uh, they, they seem to be satisfied in all of the beating that he's getting. Okay. All right, good. Uh, 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 but they, they, they do seem interested in more. They, they, they want this fight resolved. Oh! Perfect. It is catharsis for them. Perfect! You are in charge, what do you do? Whoop. That is a punch to the nose. Where's he at? Seven. Whoop. He'll probably go down with one more. Alright. And now, I stare right in his eyes. And I tell him, this for all of those Goliaths that you killed. My family. And then for the enslaving. That wasn't cool, dude. You're a real sack of shit. I was hoping it would be a nat one. <laughs> that just would have been the funniest thing. Eight. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of stumbles back. He's taking uh, one last whip at you. Which is a hit. Surprising. He's hit everything. He's great. Uh, his um, AC is not really that high. His AC is not AC, that high. My AC is bad. Well, well, that's also true. But he's that's been rolling also, great. That's also a plus nine to hit. That's, Captain, he's been that's, rolling great. Captain that's said, I like this bingo match. My, mine is plus nine. Um, but uh, yeah, he <laughs> whips at you one last time. It like scratches on your face. And he's like, just die, you monster. Whap! You smack him on the temple. Uh, he stumbles back a few feet and then drops unconscious to the ground. He's like in a state of like stupor of half consciousness. He's making death saves. Essentially. Uh, uh, I pick up his whip. You do so. I take him over to this pillar right here. <laughs> oh, please tell me you're going to hang him. <laughs> no, no. Oh. I'm going to take rope and tie him uh, to the to the to the thing, to the pillar. Mm -hmm. and back me. Oh, I see. You do so. And I give him some whips. Yep. Uh, you give him some lashings. I will uh, do his whip for you. No, no, no. I have the... I have. Oh, the you thing. have a whip? Yeah, I have a thing. I'm pretty sure it's at advantage because he's unconscious. It is true. Oh, well then... Goodbye! Then the one for that one. <laughs> these are, these are, these are, uh, these are non-lethal for now. I don't want to kill him just yet. He's already unconscious, though. You are killing I, him. Well... Yeah, just like, you know, um, they stay conscious, you know, until, you know, a couple in. And then it's like, can... I'm taking some whips at his heels. Yep. Uh, the, the crowd hoots and hollers as you whip at him. Uh, uh, Ooh, that uh, one hurt. Uh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, you got like three nat ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's all of our nat ones. Those three in a row. Hey, but good thing they were at advantage, right? <laughs> yeah. Who are you making laugh? Claudio. Oh no! Uh, he's uh, unconscious. He, yeah, he, he he vaguely chuckles in his stupor. It was pretty fucked like, up, Zectal. I, I I raised my. By the way, by the way, this should be uh quite satisfactory for people, considering uh uh that. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh. And uh, I just whip him until I, I, he's he's about to die, and then I raise my hands and look at the audience. Like, you know, do that whole like circle thing. You know, you circle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Are, are they happy? Uh, they they seem to be interested in what you're going to do. No, no, no. The man, the are man they, in the chair. Are they like cheering the and are thing. they happy? Are they not entertained? They are. <laughs> the man <laughs> in the chair does like the thumb thing. All right, that kills him. Yeah, how do you kill him? 
like that. Okay. Smash his skull! All right, all right, all Eat right. Him. Wait. Now there are two Kiss options in here. His mouth. <laughs> there, are two, there are two options here. Take a big poop. Don't fuck him. I'm either going to whip it around his neck and pull really hard. Just poop his nose for him. <laughs> or I'm going to literally Spartan kick his head into that pillar. I think that's probably the better one. That's more classy. I like the Spartan kick. Give I'm gonna hug. Spartan kick his head into the pillar, so let me yeah. make that unarmed. It's a 15. It hits. Right. You're fine. Do death do you part? You did less damage. Uh, at some point during <laughs> that, I left the arena. Oh boy. Uh, you do so. Uh, but yes, you give a nice big ol' kick, uh, to his head, I imagine? Yep. And then <clears throat> he, does he splat? wait. Does you just, splat? It does not splat, but you hear a crack. Uh, his head kind of slumps off of the the pillar. Uh, you see blood trail down as it slides off, uh, and he just kind of goes limp to where he's tied. Are you not entertained? <laughs> the, the crowd applauds. <laughs> Round two, Ori Telrina. I'm calling you out. I, uh, I'll go back to I go back to my. Uh... Oh wait, wait! Before I do that, I uh, take the ring. Yeah, you uh, reach down to his limp uh, hand and pull off a f uh, ring of off his finger. Uh, it seems to be simple and silver and gold, more gold than silver, uh, with some simple writing on it. I Wrong ring, dumbass! I wanted his cock ring. I go, I go over. <laughs> I go over and I climb back into the stands. You do so. Uh, the the announcer. Uh, call, calls your name uh, for everyone. Uh, various people cheer. You see that uh, a lot of the section uh, that was invited, particularly by the Lone Shark, but also made up of several people from the taverns, um, they seem like both pleased with the performance, but also just kind of like they have this neutral expression on their face. They're not exactly as jovial as they were during the fight. They seem to have accepted the reality that uh, Claudio is quite dead. Uh, eventually mm -hmm. some attendants come out, uh, get my money, uh, grab the, uh, the corpse of Claudio and drag him away. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. They oh, dragged no. him really that hard. Was, that was his blood smearing. Poor Claudio. Yep. That was his <laughs> body. He got spaghettified. It's fine. <laughs> Someone touched my spaghetti. <laughs> the thing has been done. You'll give that guy that his ring. Yeah, I will after. Uh, also, to but your first, comment to Zectil uh, Corva, he says, uh, if you've been where I've been, you see this stuff quite a lot. Yeah, I need to talk to you about that later, okay? As you wish. I, I want to go, to, I go Gareth, and I take the ring to him. Like, is this magical? Identify it. Uh, it is not magical. Oh, great. I go find the guy, and I give him the ring. Yeah, he's on the other side of the arena. He meets with you. After the, after the fight, obviously. Oh, after the, the fight. Yeah, you meet him eventually, <laughs> wherever you find him. Oh, excuse me. That was a gross burp. Uh, and you hand him the ring. Uh, and immediately, like, without even inspecting it, he just hands you a, a pouch full of gold. How much? 150. Okay. Did you get any winnings from the fight? Yeah. Did I get any winnings from the fight? Um... I don't think I was so, like bet. Uh, a lot of people bet on you, but you didn't place any bets on yourself. Uh, however, uh, they do give you a consol uh, consolation prize, essentially, uh, right. of about fifty gold for the good attendance that you brought in oh. as a uh, an outsider who doesn't normally participate in the Coliseum. Hey, two thousand and eighty gold. Well, I assume, like, I assume the winner always gets, you know. Money. Little pocket change. Uh, it's they get more if they one take bets on themselves and two are like a consistent figure in the Coliseum. Uh, Malls just showed up one day. He's like, "Hey, I'm fighting." It's it's uh, that's fair, but you know, I, I yeah. feel like that's that's hey, just good you're... business practice. Yeah. Let's let's run to Kimberly really quick. But what? I thought we thought we were gonna take them with so we could explain everything, you know. And oh, secret. do we want to explain it there? I mean, I don't trust giving them that information here. I mean, yeah, you're right. I think, okay, let's gotta find <laughs> everybody. Where the fuck did Jack go? I don't, I don't know where he is. What to. the fuck? Can I rest oh. first? <laughs> no. Uh, 
please? <laughs> we need to go. I mean, you can take like a 15 minute break. It, 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 like papers have to be given. Yeah. Uh, you have to basically sign off on the fact that you fucking killed a man, but it was legal. Uh, and in that time, you can take a short rest. I'll, I'll do a sending to Jack like, hey, we need you for something. Come back here. Uh, where did Jack go? Probably to sell. <laughs> no, he probably just didn't want to see Claudio die. Or that. He's placed. You can't, put, can't pan over to Jack. He's at like the betting table. Plomo, plomo. He's at the palace. What? What? <laughs> Why? Well then, uh, you are at the palace. You come to uh, the front gates of that palace. Uh, the, it has very long uh, iron gates. There are lots of guards around here. The wall of the palace yeah, is immense. I got immense. mashed potatoes in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do them first. Well, what they're waiting on you. We, we, we waited, waited on you. you. And we wanted to go to the palace Hang together. Hang on, my potatoes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We wanted to go to the palace together. Wait, wait, wait. If Vincenna's getting potatoes, can I also get my, uh, some food? Go get snacky. I get snack break. Fine. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? We, we already said we were going to the palace together. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, wait, we can confirm if he's actually going to the palace or if he <laughs> if the palace he meant was the restaurant down the street, which was selling potatoes. Very fucking good luck getting in there, but like, damn. I, I guess I guess Jack's just, you know, going to meet with the emperor by himself. You know, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Okay. Even though he doesn't know anything about fucked up, okay? Uh, I, I, I guess this is what's happening right now. Huh. Well. Okay. And you thought we were gonna get further than this, Chris? Huh? I mean, we we are on track to do the thing. Mm -hmm. I I did not expect the Coliseum idea to actually work. I mean, I just expected once you said like, uh, for, like when Claudio said, uh, "I'd Turn rather just die. yeah, I like I would rather just die in this alleyway that you know." Yeah, so just you inviting that... him to just kill him right then and there. I mean, that's what I assumed would happen. Tbh. Okay. Hi. Are you going to the palace without us? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. He's at the All palace. Right. Yeah, you are at the palace. It has very uh, immaculate, tall walls that go up about uh, thirty to forty feet. Um, there's a large gateway, uh, where several guards guard the way. I, I just, I walk on. Uh, goes. yeah, as you, uh, like, through the gates. I mean, I, I knock and, you know. Yeah, as you approach the gates, uh, the guards approach you, uh, in a, a like, a pincer formation. They put their halberds on either side, locking them together, and they say, No visitors. Uh, I'm Jack Hearts. I know him. We're friends. Ah, friends of the Emperor. This one's rich. I mean, you can ask him if you want. Very well, Jack of Hearts, you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they nod to another attendant who uh, runs in, uh, and they say uh, to, to wait here a minute. The guy just goes around the corner, sits there for like five minutes, and then walks back. <laughs> yeah, no! <laughs> Uh, do you wait? Yeah. Yep. Uh, several minutes pass. Uh, eventually, uh, the attendant comes back, whispers something to one of the guards. No deal. They don't know who you are. Hello? Oh, that's unfortunate. What's happening? I guess it was a long time ago. Well, I'll be back. Sure thing. Uh, and they return to their posts. What's happening? Jack went to the palace and he got, he didn't get let in. <laughs> surprise, oh. surprise. A long time ago. Calm down. <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, I assume that Jack meets the rest of the party uh, in front of the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ready? Huh? You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah, need yeah. to get the fuck out of here. We'll be back. Let's go. Let's, let's all go. Let's all go. Uh, and explain to your group what's happening. Oh, we're okay. going to Kimberly. We're going to be, yeah, we're, we're going to go to one of my teleportation circle locations. 
and we're going to explain everything that we learned in our research session to you guys because I don't trust giving that information out here where people can listen in. I'm also going to be doing something. You explain uh, to them and I'll start digging up the grave. I, I didn't tell you I was Damn. doing up shit. You okay, don't know I'm, right. you don't know my fine, plan. Fine. I thought you wanted me to talk to them. Fine. I, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, go. You, all right. Uh, okay. so yeah, you guys are uh, doing teleportation circle. Big yes. Early. We're going. We're going to Davenport. All right, Mimi, you're in the way. Get out of the way, Mimi. What? Where's my cat in the way? Hold on, I'm getting there. I fucking hate this hole. God damn it. Get, get us the fuck out of here. Where's the dead sit again? I mean, do you want to leave? Well, yeah. We, well, yeah, because we got to go out into like the it's city up, area. It, yeah, it's, over, it's over here. All right, it's it is over there. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We go to the city. Yeah, we have, we're going to go to the city. Yeah. That and, uh, is a thing that you can do. So, as like we we're we're walking along, I'll just I'll just start. Exp so now that now that we're now that we're alone, uh, don't don't mind the the ruins here. For I'm gonna make sure we're alone. Can I do a perception uh, check? You you do a perception check, uh, but you don't really need to. Okay. There ain't anyone here. Okay, good. this this place is empty and devoid of all life. Don't okay. don't don't mind the dilapidation. Um, Crow and I, yeah, yesterday went around to various colleges and we found out a lot of, a lot of information. Uh, most of it not really important in the long run. Uh, but we did find in the Mage College, uh, somebody's journal. Uh, the journal of the, the person that originally started the pyres. At that point, I'm going to, like, produce, like, the, the scroll. Yes, yes. Yeah, or that the, is fucking crazy. The, the scroll case. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to read in this. I will give it to you. You can choose well, to read it or not. We only have the last well, page. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's we true. We only have that's the true. last page. Because that was the only really important information. Understood. I have I have written down notes about all the other important things, so mm -hmm. I have those, but that's mm -hmm. not the important information. And it basically, is, it is a hefty page, though. And basically, this outlines the entire. Pro and while while I'm saying this, we're we're we're, we're ma I'm making my way to the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, basically, it outlines the entire process from start to finish of how they open the portal. Currently we're uh we're on we're on step one, which is remove the, the stones and activate the pyres. Once they're all activated, uh we have to find this place called the the transept. transept. The yeah. transept. Which apparently has another uh, another book there with more um details about the ritual so there there's the possible threat that uh, every that somebody else has made it there first and has the book but there's a chance that we could get there first and we get the book after the transept uh we have to find the nave uh, which, will, which will open at the uh, M. No, it'll is, open the ambulatory. Yeah, it'll which open is the ambulatory, which is pretty much yeah. A bridge to Portal. the dirt. Yeah. We don't know where any of these are, or, or really how we'll know if we find them. But we found this information, and it's it's very important. Apparently, no once it's opened, there is no closing it from these people's research, at least. And it'll just, like, become part of the material plane. And basically what we're going to do with these papers is we're going to put them in this, this scroll case. And we're going to bury them out here so no one else can find them. 
now there might be duplicates of this and well if if there are well then this was kind of pointless but if there aren't it doesn't really hinder us but we have this information here we know where it is we can get to it not many people can get out here i don't think and plus there's not really a lot here anyway but uh, yeah do you have any questions Nope. I don't understand. I don't understand what? either. We're on step one of a three-step plan. Step two and three get really fucky. Okay. Essentially, we have a chance to to get ahead of the enemies here if uh, if they're only at step one and they haven't found the other steps here. Okay. So either we have just as much information as they do, or we have more at this point. We also did various other research into the occupants of the door of the dirge, mainly Tiamat, and she's she's Ooh, not over. She's, she she's not. Nice. She's not Ooh. nice. I don't think we should bring her up to the emperor because a lot of the nice information, <laughs> a lot of the information we found was in the Holy Empire, and if if, if the emperor didn't really like like her. I, that information wouldn't be found in the Holy Some, Empire. Something makes me think that dragon gods want to stick together. But, re regardless, we didn't find a whole much else of utter importance than this, so I'm gonna go bury it, okay? Yeah, you need help? Uh -huh. Have we- have we- have we made it to the graveyard yet? You have indeed. You guys, like, wander into what seems to be a dilapidated graveyard. Many of the gravestones have fallen over, uh, in disrepair and, uh, lack of maintenance. I- I go over to the specific one. You know you the one. You do so. I'm just, um, I'm just without saying anything. I'm gonna produce the shovel I have, and I'm just gonna start digging. Uh, yep. <laughs> you uh, heap up the dirt. Uh, this is a long process. It takes about you know half an hour to keep digging down. Um, eventually, you get about five to six feet down, and <laughs> you uh, strike wood, um, digging it further away. You find what seems to be a grave. Or Why is the coffin in the grave? grave? Uh. Well, you well you were here when we were here last. Mm-hmm. Uh, and well, in my notebook that I found back at my tower, it told me to find this person. Oh. So I'm seeing what's here. Okay. And I'm just to start clearing out more of the, the coffin so I can open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You clear uh, out the dirt away from the coffin. Uh, you can open it if you choose. It would take some prying, but otherwise you can get it open. Well, you want to help with this? I think I have a crowbar. Okay. We're defacing a grave. It's fine. You mean defiling? Defiling, yes. That... Open sesame! Mal, just casually okay with just, just yeah. breaking into a grave. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, he did just murder a person, so it's fine. I know. We've learned things today. That was a special case. Nobody here really really saying anything about this guy who just walked up and started listen, digging up, digging listen, up a grave. Ma, you, Mal heard you say the thing about he told you the, the notebook and he knows it's important to you, so whatever. Man, I had a bag of hands. I'm not one to talk about digging up graves. Uh, but yeah, you creak open the, uh, the coffin, uh, pull away the nails and fully open it. Uh, the top falls aside. There seems to be a skeleton here. Uh, some hair is still there. Uh, and, uh, there's a little bit of patches of skin. The smell is not fantastic, but most of the smell has uh, dissipated over time. It seems that this body's been dead for a very long time. Um, however, yeah, you do so. Uh, the town, as you walk through it, is as it's shown. It, there's just like lots of ruined houses here. Some have been burned. Some have just fallen apart over time. Uh, there's a large, like, uh, uh, or I guess a small temple uh walking inside it it's just kind of bare and empty uh all of the various uh statues to the gods have been uh broken uh or have fallen apart due to the weather and whatnot I, it's a very lonely place to walk through can i make some sort of check to figure out like how long this body's been dead um years is the best you can tell 
uh, even if you had a great check. It, definitely years, but identifying at this point, it's 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 old. Um, that being said, uh, it has two things on its person. One around its neck, there seems to be a necklace, and two. Uh, on top of the body, uh, in one of the hands is a piece of parchment that seems to be covered, uh, in dirt. Well, did you know, as soon as you touch anything there, that skeleton is going to come to life. <laughs> uh, what, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of skeleton is this? Uh, it has a slim physique, uh, but otherwise just seems to be a skeleton. It's hard to make heads or tails of what it could be, except for the long hair. So there's no, like, identifying, like, racial features of the... Not really, no. No, like... It, it, is, wearing, it, it is wearing a nice uh, emerald dress. Pretty dress. Okay. Take the dress. I cast Detect Magic. Uh, the necklace is definitely magic. Maul's taking the the dress and wearing it like a pretty princess that he is. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, all right. He's frolicking around, yelling, "I feel pretty." Uh, I'm oh, gonna start pretty. identifying the necklace, but I'm while I'm doing that, I'm gonna carefully take the parchment. Yeah, you kind of like have to tug at it a few times. It uh, eventually like cracks under like your pressure, uh, but you take the parchment. I read it. Yes, yes. Uh, so, would you like to read it first, or would you like to know what the amulet is first? Your choice. Um, I'll, I'll make a roll. Uh, we'll Not go. Too I know. We'll go. We'll go. High is parchment. Low is necklace. Hi. Ne- yeah, hi is parchment. Understood. Enjoy. Uh, otherwise, uh, the rest of you guys are um, out in the middle of nowhere, essentially. Uh, this town, again, is very lonely. Uh, most of you are in the graveyard, except for Jack, who's just kind of roaming around the town. Um, what do you guys do? I'm waiting for Garrett to see if I can talk to this fucking dead body. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to in a minute, but uh, he seems enthralled by uh, the parchment that he's retrieved. I'm just waiting. That is the thing you can do. There's actually a lot to read here. We have yeah. already looted this entire town, so... Uh, I will do this for Cora's sake, so you can look it up for Zelf while he reads. Yeah, uh, I'll identify it for you, buddy. But uh, in identifying the thing, uh, it is an amulet of proof against detection and location. Oh. Can't be scryed on. That's pretty good. And I will link it in chat. Yoink. Yoinky doinky. But yes. Otherwise, we read and Mm-hmm. There are indeed a lot of chaotic good noodles. It's true. Eat these factual. We need more lawful good people in this world. <laughs> yeah. I used to play lots of lawful good characters. Oh, I'm at real life. Now I play lots of lawful neutral characters. I only unmuted on stream. I'm talking about real life, Chris. Uh, ah, I'm lawful neutral in real life. That's just me. What is this? <laughs> oh, look at him go. Just chilling. All right, here I go. Yeah. For you. Oh, wait, I got another one for you. God damn. <laughs> Wait, I got another one for you. You already posted that. Wait, I got another one for you. That's not even the colored version. Uh, yeah, I know, because I'm the one that colored it. I know you did. God. And That's understandable for you. Damn good job. I 
I'm trying to play a lawful character. Emphasis on trying. So why are we quiet right now? What's happening? Uh, I'm reading. He's yeah, reading. Zelf is reading. Oh. I'm waiting for him to give me the A-OK -okay so I can talk to this dead body or... Yeah, I like lawful character. Ooh, maybe what I character talk do you to use? Hmm? Or not what character? Um, what spell do you use to talk? Uh, it's one of my evocations. Speak with dead. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I can use it today, Zelf, because we're going to go see the emperor right no, after that's this. That's fine. I've I've learned everything. Okay. You sound a bit shook. Yeah. You good, buddy? Man. I just feel like chaotic as like the alignment is like, it's too much like real people. So like, it's not really like a driving force for a character, which is why I like Lawful better. Hmm. <laughs> because it kind of forces you to act a certain way. And... There's no horns on this body. Um, you can't really tell from uh, looking at it. It is a quite old body. You good, horns, Garrett? Horns wouldn't decay. Oh, horns hush. Don't. But they wouldn't decay. Uh, hush. We'll explain later. You good, buddy? Something doesn't make sense. Here. It doesn't add up. What doesn't? This woman. Mm hmm. This is my sister. Oh. Oh. She doesn't have horns. Maybe there could be horns. Adopted. You can't tell. What do you mean I can't tell? Hush. They're either there or not. Where's our brown, Chris? I mean, that being said, you could have been adopted. He. He. Mhm. Mm Died alone. Apparently went crazy. Oh. Um, give me a medicine check. Who? Who? Oh, uh, Zelf. Or, uh, Gareth, rather. 16. Um, you've heard of medical conditions similar to this. You're not sure what they are because you're not well read on the topic. Uh, but y you are aware that this is a thing that has happened to people. They just go crazy. Uh, we would know it as Alzheimer's, but uh, oh, okay. Gareth doesn't know it as that. He's kind of like, I've heard of that before. She, she had memory issues, too. Oh. Forgot a lot. I mean, she had nobody. I guess mom and dad died, too. Does it say anything about that, or do you just not know? It, it it says that my family's dead. Oh, Gareth, I'm so sorry. Gareth. I have a family I'm never going to get to meet. A whole chunk of my life just gone he starts crying oh I hug oh it's okay buddy apparently I I wanted to 
to seek some sort of immortality. I don't, I don't know what that means. It means for some reason you wanted to try to live forever. I understand the concept of immortality, but I don't know what he was doing behind that. What's the point of immortality if you have no one to spend share it with? He wanted to to make death meaningless so nobody has to suffer as he did at her passing. No. And when you say this, you mean Zarius, I assume, right? Me. Yes, but a me I can't remember. I mean, that's fine if you can't remember. I think you're better as who you are now, honestly. Death is a natural cycle. I don't think any of us should aim to live forever. Uh, as you kind of, like, uh, are amidst your thoughts in this conversation about, uh, you and your past you, you do, uh, feel the distinct pull of the pull you always feel coming due east of your location. It didn't change. It's just that you have moved. She called me Zari. Oh. I'd probably be coming back at this time. Yeah, you kind of like wander back. You see uh, Gareth in uh, an emotional state. I don't say anything. I just look down at the body. It is most definitely deceased. Oh, good buddy. Pat, pat. I put the I put the note back and put the scroll in the in the coffin. You do so. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start mending the coffin back into being sealed. Oh yeah, uh, like you kind of like put the thing together. It's not yeah. so much as mending it. Uh, it's more just like hammering back the nails into place. Well, I'm sure like the nails got bent and all that, so mending just to straighten them back yeah. out. That makes sense. And just start burying it. Yeah, you rebury uh, the. Uh, I will the coffin. offer to bury it for you if you need to take a minute. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before. Wait. Crow, you can you can speak to the dead, right? Mm-hmm. Can you speak? I want to hear her voice. I turned them all. Crow, oh, is that all you're doing? You're turning to him? Yep. Oh, okay. I think we were gonna. I can't do it a lot, Gareth. Why don't? We come back and do it when you're not like this, when you're feeling a bit better. I think it'd be more sound to do it when you're in a clearer state of mind. Okay. We'll come back here. We can come back here whenever we want to. Remember, we got the circle. Mm-hmm. And Pat, Pat, you want me to co you want me to rebury it for you? And go take a break. Yeah, I wanna. Oh, I don't. I don't wanna be here right now. All right, we'll leave then as soon as we rebury it. I'm just gonna go off to to the side a little bit. Do I see any other uh any other gravestones with uh that last name? You do not. I rebury. And Corva, you do uh, begin to heft the dirt back into the grave. Uh, oh, can you help me? No. 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 Uh huh. Can you help me rebury? This is a lot of dirt. I have oh, weak yeah. baby arms. Alright. I look to I, I look to my to my orb while I'm just kind of 
by myself. Why did you want me to find this? What was here that you wanted to see? What was your plan? There is no response beyond the gentle pull that comes from the east. I'm going to find the other part of you. I'm going to fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? You wanted... Why? <laughs> Who are you saying why to? Why? <laughs> to fucking stones, I think. Oh. <laughs> we all have... I guess this is just what you want to do. I don't know why. But I'll help you. I'll help me. Hi. What's happening? Gareth is having a moment. I'm just kind of—you just kind of see him off by himself. He's—he's he's speaking very quietly. Yeah, he's kind of like whispering to himself uh, in the distance. You can't really hear him. Uh, a thundercloud is passing to the north, and the sky is quite gray here. I assume we get this buried eventually. Yep. Yep. All right. <sighs> I guess let's go back. Yep, we gotta go see the Emperor now. Or try to. Is it remember me? No. Oh. Guess we'll have to get in the old fashioned way. Yeah, breaking in. No, I already tried that. Oh. There's like a big anti magic field around it, kinda. Well, that wasn't there before. Yeah. We're gonna have to go ahead and through the, the good old fashioned way, aka paperwork. Uh eventually you head back into the uh the small hut uh where the teleportation circle is. Mm -hmm. Uh Jack, you're the only one who didn't really explore this place, so you're welcome to walk around if you choose. There's not here. much here. Not too much. Right, there's not much here. Wow. Is yeah, very dilapidated, there. like oh, most of the wait, buildings wait. that you kind of like wandered through as you were like on your little exploration trip. Insano. Yeah. How much is there? Not much. Ooh, actually, can I do a thing while we're out and just like, cause there's a, it's, it's like foresty here, right? Uh, not really. There's not a whole no. lot of forest here. There's maybe like a copse of trees out to the south, but there's not much of there. It, it, most of this area is just like open green fields. Oh, can I just go out? That's fine if it's like an open -y green field. I just want some place that's really nature -y. Yeah, you kind of head out uh, of town up one of the hills that kind of like overlooks this small little hamlet. Mm hmm. Can I do a prayer while I'm out here? Yes. It's long. Would you rather me send it to you or say it? Go ahead and send that to me. Oh, hey. There's not much there either. I have <laughs> sent it to you. It's pretty long, like I said. No, no, no. Otherwise, what are we doing as a group? I think we're going back. Yeah, we're going. We're going back. Back to the. We're past. gonna go try to get into the emperor. See him. Hey, my Jack. Uh, you guys head back to the lovely city of Kaldar. Would you like a religion check for that, by the way? Uh, I will determine in a minute. We're, okay. We'll do that retroactively. Don't mind me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is where you are now. What is the plan, Sam? I am. We're gonna go try to see the emperor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have a plan? We're going to go do all the paperwork and try to request an audience. That is a thing you can do. Uh, you head back to the, the gates of the uh, palace. Uh, you get basically the same treatment both you guys and uh, Jack got as you approach mm -hmm. the palace. Uh, mm -hmm. They kind of like stop you there. Uh, Jack, the two guards recognize you and you kind of hear them like chuckle in their helmets. Uh, but they say, uh, no entry allowed. 
Is there a reason why? The public is not allowed to enter the palace. Uh, we'd like to find a way to request an audience with the Emperor, if we may. A formal request can be granted. Uh, they call in a, uh, a scribe who comes over to meet you. Uh, and uh, he, he kind of like pulls you aside to talk to you in a small little office that's off to mm -hmm. the side. Uh, and he says, all right, well, you want to uh, put in an, uh, uh, a notice for an audience with the Emperor. Uh, his schedule is quite busy. Is there anything in particular that you need? I assume that this is uh, just a public audience. You have a farm or something that needs to be taken care of. Uh, no. Uh, if you could put in a message to him, say, uh, given the right circumstances, I can probably tell him who killed his daughter. <laughs> he just kind of like looks to you and like drops his pen to the ground and he just kind of like stares at you. What? Do you know of this? Not so the world's falling apart. Well, I mean, that... That that probably should have been kept secret. We that, told you that, that, you know. That we shouldn't say anything to him. Uh, he also didn't seem to hear. Not so the world's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's staring at you, Corvo. Yeah, can you tell him that? Just a moment. And he kind of like leaves the room, uh, leaving you guys here in this small little seating area. Jack! Mm hmm. We said we're not telling him about that. Mm hmm. I don't see why. Tiamat's a dragon god. He's also a dragon god. Maybe the dragon gods are working together. I don't see this guy as wanting to help us in any way. Probably. I don't see what the problem is with finding out. Uh, we get more, another, you know, we get another enemy. enemy. Yeah. Why would that be an enemy? If he wants to open the dirge and let her out, or if he, he finds he, out that he's in there and he wants her out, that's exactly what we don't want. Why would he want that? Because dragon gods may want to stick together, which that's them Whoever, sticking together. This emperor is not a dragon god. Uh, you would you know, know him to title. be the dragon god. He is a dragon god. You, you have met with the god of dra uh, the dragon god of the holy empire. What is a god? At one though? point in the past. Um, just... well, so from like Jack can interpret it anyway. Once what he knows is that the society here views their emperor as a god right, so like i i assume that jack knows like the concept of a god even though he might not believe in them uh but that's just his understanding this society reveres the emperor as a god right, here's uh, the thing but i will also add on in the circles that you tend to run into there are a lot of people who decry him being a god they're like he's just a dude here's the thing i was literally told that i met this guy before mm-hmm <laughs> And I was told nothing, so here we are. Uh, you have met him before in a audience that you have had a long time ago. I mean, if you uh, got it, wasn't that long ago. Yeah, he's been alive for over two thousand years. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, do you have any uh, pep talk before Jack. you may or may not have an audience? Jack, just for once, just. Trust us. You ask what? us to trust you what all the time. Mean? Just, just trust us here. Please. Just don't bring up anything end of the world Tiamat related, dirge related. Don't bring up any of it. We're okay. just here to. We're just to here to make to a friend. The, and possibly and... stop a war. Yeah. Uh, the double doors open. Uh, nine guards walk in along with the scribe. Oh. You have your audience with the Emperor. It will occur in the next 15 minutes. Please follow this way. Okay. All of you. Oh. He kind of like nods to the, the whole group. Best behavior. Best behavior. Let's go. Uh, he, he also is implying that you guys need to go and also that you might you guys might not be able to leave. Okay. The fine not be able to leave. Uh, they might attack you. Well, no, I mean, like, as in, 
No, you're you're probably not allowed to walk away. Is the the feel you're getting, the vibe that you're getting from these oh. guys? All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes, you guys are led through, uh, the, uh, basically you're, the return. you're, you're led through, uh, a long hallway that heads through the, essentially the wall of this palace out into the courtyard. There are some, uh, several nobles walking around here. It's this very beautiful place that they seem to, uh, reside in, uh, having like bits of tea or, uh, snacks, uh, it seems like a luxurious life that none of you are really aware of. This uh, this sort of opulence. I'm slightly aware of. <laughs> no, this sort of opulence is oh, way shit. beyond anything you've ever seen, uh, yeah. Corva. Mm -hmm. uh, but they lead you through the very long garden until you get to the actual palace proper. This gigantic building that sit, uh, sits in the center of this huge complex, surrounded by a very tall wall. Uh, heading in, you see uh, marbled floors with extremely high ceilings, chandeliers everywhere, just beautiful opulence in all directions. It's kind of insane. Um, they lead you down a long hallway, upstairs, and then around uh, another long hallway, and then up a third floor. Uh, every time you pass by the windows, you can see the city growing larger and larger as it uh, extends your horizon with your heightened view. Um, the Colosseum is the largest looming structure as you walk past these large windows, but you're eventually led to a waiting room where you're sat down. Uh, it's very quiet in here, almost deadly quiet. It's almost uncomfortable. Um, the scribe uh, sits you there. All of the nine guards remain, um, and they say, uh, uh, Please wait here. The Emperor will be with you shortly. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm ready to get fuckled. Oh yeah, no, we're dead. <laughs> oh yeah, we're absolutely dead. This is gonna be great. Uh, any last minute things you guys would like to exchange with one another? Um, I have that enhance ability. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think now's the time to use it on myself. Because this guy fucking terrifies me. I need to look up what enhance ability does again, just so Give I can Give you advantage sure. on your checks. All right, so we want eagle for charisma, I assume? Probably. All right, and we're doing eagle splendor enhance ability on myself. So I get that dank dank uh, advantage on all charisma checks. For the next hour. For the next hour, yes. For the next hour, indeed. But anything you want to go over with each other? I'm going to try to do this, guys. Hopefully he doesn't kick our ass. We're just here trying to stop a war. Make a friend. Yeah. Let's be proper and formal and on our best behaviors, because this guy will fuck us, and we're not going to like it. I mean, Corva might like it. Shut up. <laughs> uh, that being said, after some time passes, uh, the uh, assistant comes back. Um, or a assistant comes back, rather. Uh, Corva, uh, maybe Gareth, because they were the ones paying attention last time. You recognize this guy. He is a, uh, a little bit older looking tabaxi with uh, floofy hair around his face. Uh, he carries a book and a pen with him. Uh, oh, and has little glasses on the end guy. of his nose. Yeah, I remember I, him. I remember. Yeah, he, he kind of uh, enters the room. Yes, yes, uh, you are the latest uh, expedited audience of the... Oh, it is you. You've noticed you, especially you. He kind of points to you, Maul. I recognize your uh, large form. It is good to see you again. You are at the uh, audience with the king in the Ruby Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. This is fair news to see you here. It is certainly interesting. Not many people are able to get an audience with the key or with the emperor on such short notice. Hopefully, mm. you have your best manners ahead of you. Mm hmm. Uh, he, he also glances back to Jack and Maul. I'm distant. <laughs> what do you mean you're distant? Just kind of like not there. Understood. Uh, he nods and says, "Very well." Uh, he nods to all the guards. All the guards hulk up and uh, take formation. Uh, and they lead you 
Into the place. Excuse me while I do a thing. No, what no. Is this? If you have a map for this, I'm gonna be terrified. Oh, I mean, I do. Of course, he has a map for it. Oh shit. We're all gonna have to roll initiative. Oh, yep. Shit. We're all dead. Oh, that's creepy. Oh god, creepy ass. You changed this picture. Listen, older picture. I lost this picture in the in the wash. Wow. Um, to be fair. <laughs> no, no, that is that is your picture. No, um, his picture. Yeah, I just I know. a different picture. What the fuck? Uh, but you guys are led into this massive chamber uh, with large pillars that extend far above you. Uh, as you enter in, uh, there are several people who pass by uh, in the doorway, leaving. They seem to be in quite a huff, and they uh, traipse up behind you. Give me a perception check, Corva. I have my birdie. Mm. Um, you don't. You didn't really catch a glimpse of who they were. Uh, but you can distinctly tell from the uh, uniforms that they are wearing uh, that they are nobles of Bastion. Ooh, ooh. Um, so that's apparently who he was talking to prior. Um, however, you guys are uh, led up into the center of this room. Uh, you do see that the uh, emperor himself is kind of like lackadaisically lying in his gigantic throne. His legs tra uh, traipsed over the edge of the uh the armrest and he just kind of like looks at you uh in, in this very lazy fashion uh as if uh, you are the least of his uh priorities at the moment um yeah. and he he kind of uh just awaits as his attendant says uh an emergency audience requested by these individuals we did not get their names but i'm sure they will herald themselves properly i just want us to do that now they they look to you. There are several guards around the room who uh, uh, sit silently in their uh, uh, heavy gold armor. Uh, I I need to one second. I need to pull up my formal title. Okay. Uh huh. I don't want to say my own title incorrectly. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. I bow formally and I uh, introduce myself as a uh, uh, Corva Pine Guard, a uh, uh, pre presumptive Baron uh, of Asterisk, Your Excellency. Doing the uh, the same formal bow as Corva, just trying to trying to do my best here. Zarius, 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 boom, the lead. No, no, no title. Jack and Malt. Ball. Bear. Bear. It is possible he fell asleep. Now he might actually. Now he might act. Put my hand up and wave. I'm Jack. <laughs> Maul. Let, yeah, let, 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 let's just assume he, he probably would have been formal. He, he does his best. Okay, then he he does burps his probably. Thing, and I go, I'm Jack. Uh, the, the guy kind of like finally turns his head to look at you. Uh, he seems to be uh, flipping what seems to be a coin in his hands. Uh, but he stops flipping and puts it onto a side table. Yes, yes, you have called this... Lovely little audience, but I am a busy man with many things to do. What do you have to say? I muted my mic, ooh. Uh, Your Excellency, given the right situations, I may or may not be able to tell you who killed your daughter. Is at least the information that they were given to us, uh, Your Excellency. And how exactly might you be able to talk to my daughter? Well, I'm a cleric of many. Three, to be exact. Actually, four. Uh, I have the ability to speak with the dead if presented with the body itself, that being the condition, as it will be. Uh, he kind of, like, rises from his uh, uh, throne, stretches uh, his arms out, and then just kind of, like, puts his hands behind his back as he walks down the uh, steps towards you guys. Uh, as he walks, he says, It is curious. It is, of course, news that 
My loving daughter has been deceased for several weeks now, but I can't say that many people have approached me asking to speak to her corpse. What pretense do you have to do such a thing to me? He, he has like a distance of like 15 feet from you. Just information for yourself, your grace. What information might I want? Possibly who has killed her. And if I found out by your hand, why would I benefit? And how would you benefit? I benefit in no way. I'm just doing a favor for a very noble dragon such as yourself. I am a mere mortal. I mean nothing. Are you a mere baronet, perhaps, of the Ruby Kingdoms? I'm sure you've heard the tales. I only want to conquer your sweet little country about every other month. Hmm. Uh, he kind of, like, approaches you. There's now, like, a, a seven-foot gap between you. Uh, he's a little taller than you, uh, mm -hmm. and he looks quite intimidating uh, up close, even though he has a very lanky figure uh, and uh, pearlescent white hair. Uh, but he just kind of looks at you with uh, graying, uh, pinkish eyes, uh, and he says... Everyone has a card in this game. Whatever this game is and wherever it leads. You know more than you say. You see it right on your face. Why do you want to speak to the corpse of my daughter? Just to give you the information you want and to possibly make a friend. A friend? Ah, now we're getting to the heart of the matter. What friend do you want of an emperor? Someone with influence and power can keep us safe if times become rough. I look no further, but you have a king that you are loyal to. I don't expect to be keeping my barony much longer. Pre presumptive. I wasn't exactly an heir. Hmm. Fair enough. There is heart in that. I, I respect someone who is, uh, Inspirational in their attempts to make new friends, as you say. Your friends here certainly are a motley bunch. Are you a little bored back there? He calls you, Jack. A little. And why would that be? You're in the presence of the strongest man in the entire world. He, he kind of approaches you. He's like three feet away from you. He's real close. Like he's in, he's in your your safety zone. I, uh, I take a step back. One with bad memory and personal space issues. Uh, uh who, who, who are you calling the one with bad memory? Him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he kind of nods. And why should I remember you, little boy? Oh, nothing. Mm. Nothing of any importance. Jack of Hearts is your name. Correct. You have a circus that you've brought into town. Oh, your large little friend. Juan is his name? He causes quite a ruckus. Ruckus is the name. Uh, he kind of takes a few steps back and uh, turns to you, Gareth, and he says, It has been some time since I've seen you, Zarius. Huh? It has been some time. We had that one occasion. You seem to be interested in funding. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't remember. There seems to be a lack of memory in your fine party here. Either way, if you remember, did your funding come through? I... I, I don't... I don't remember anything about... Oh, such a pitiful bunch. Ah, very well, very well. You are here for a purpose. He turns back to you, Corva. He's now in your, like, safety bubble. Um, and, uh... Not my bubble, no. You can pop it any day. Um, he says... You say you can speak to her. We certainly have access to many a thing, but... 
There are some things every good emperor needs in this world. Your services could be useful. Is he looking for an answer from me? Yeah, he seems to be patiently waiting on whatever you might say in reply. Whatever use I can be. Well, as I said, I'm just a mere mortal. It can be arranged. If you have this power, if you are not lying to me, then certainly you can do your best to exasperate whatever words might be taken from that simple old corpse. But if you are lying, know that there is a certain guillotine waiting for just the right amount of blood. If you accompany me there, you can hear the words directly from her mouth. If I am allowed. Of course. Your daughter, after all. Uh, he kind of, like, snaps his fingers. Uh, several of the guards gather together. Uh, uh, and, uh, his, uh, attendant, uh, starts, like, calling orders to various others, like, weaker attendants. Um, and, uh, he says, the preparations will be made. We should be ready in perhaps half an hour. Do whatever you need to do to prepare yourselves. If your party is going to be there... Continue being on your best behavior. He taps you on the shoulder, uh, and he heads off to the the side to do his own thing. Mm -hmm. One one abstract question. He turns. Did the corpse still have a jaw? Yes. And that's perfect. He he just uh, nods and blinks and then continues walking the way he was with uh, various attendants who follow him. Uh, the tabaxi attendant, uh, comes to you guys and he says, uh, uh, we can arrange essentially anything you want. The, uh, body will be prepared for you, for your efforts as a cleric. Uh, do the rest of you require anything? Some aspirin. Just kidding. I don't, I don't think so. Do you have any books I can look at? Nice. We have, we old, have a reading room if you choose old, to. Uh, old magic text, maybe. We cannot offer all of these things, but there is a nice reading room that we can escort you to. Also, to what you messaged me, Zelf, uh, I just want to give him whatever the fuck he wants for now, and then after, yes. Fair enough. I'd, I'd rather just give this very intimidating man what he wants before uh, I get my head chopped off. I'll, uh, go, to, I'll go to the reading room. You are in the driver's seat, however, Corva. Uh, mm -hmm. Firstly, do you want the Emperor to accompany you to uh, the room you'll be performing this rite? If he wants to hear it from her own mouth, he needs to be there. Um, who else is coming? I'll be there. I assume I assume everyone's going to be there. I don't know why we wouldn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure. Um... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if Corvo wanted to like uh, coordinate off from anyone. No, I would ask if the princess knew Draconic. Uh, it like her dad taught her. Yeah. Uh, the attendant uh, replies, "Of course she knows Draconic." Mm -hmm. I fumbled that word real hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said like three words in one word. Draconic. Draconic. Not Draconic. No, Draconic. I got, but I said like knew and no and knowed at the same time, and it was a mess. Uh, is it like, a, is Draconic like a common language among the people here? Like, would um, these guards know Draconic? Most of the guards probably would, but it's not a common language. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. It is, it's kind of like the educated language. Could I Whereas ask, most places like, would... what languages the Emperor knows? Oh boy, do I have what, a lot? What languages would he know that his daughter would also know? I'm going to go into the World Anvil just for the purpose uh, of this. She has, con or he knows, common draconic, elvish, dwarvish, giant, primordial, and deep speech. Okay. What of those would she also know? Uh, common draconic, probably elvish, maybe Please dwarvish. Say deep speech. Shit. Fuck. Why deep speech? Oh, I just want a language that not as many people speak in the room, just to keep it more private. Okay. I don't think a lot of people in the room are going to speak Draconic. Well, if he said most of the guards knew Draconic, that's kind of like, you know. It's true.
Any last minute preparations? Oh, is there anything I need? Ooh, I have my enhance ability going. Thank God I didn't have to make any charisma checks. Ooh. I feel like I'm going to have to though still, so it's good that that's up. Um I should have all my components. I don't I think I just need her body. Yep, yep. Yeah, I just need her body. Um, you guys are led to a small room off to the side. Um several hallways down. Uh so by the side, it's it's pretty long. Uh, considering the size of this very large uh, palace. Uh, but it is a very dark room. The curtains are drawn here. Uh, it has this very, like, as opposed to the gold aesthetic of the picture we're seeing right now, it's this very, like, darkish blue aesthetic where it's just very dark in here. Um, there's a large uh, table made of marble and stone uh, that sits before you. Uh, as you guys, like, wait here uh, with the attendant who just kind of, like, is uh, scribbling in a book across the room um the doors open to the side and they heft uh, several guards heft in a very large coffin which they <laughs> gently put on the stone slab and pull apart the uh, opening to the container um inside is a very well preserved corpse of uh the princess herself uh princess uh, Emilia Caldas uh, she looks immaculate with her curly hair all long and brown and her uh, very uh, darkened skin uh, as if she spent much of her time in the sun. Uh, otherwise, uh, she lies there in repose, uh, motionless in her death. And so the emperor has accompanied us. Uh, uh, in, in due time, the emperor does uh, enter the room. Uh, he takes a, a playful seat across the room, just kind of like watching the affairs just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. You almost get the feel that like he doesn't think you can actually do this, but he'd be impressed if you could in some sort of way. Not necessarily like, man, you cool, but like, this sounds fun. I haven't done this today. Mm -hmm. I, I would ask him, uh, your grace, would it trouble you to have this conversation in Draconic as for over-listening ears to be less. Uh, he immediately uh, speaks in Draconic and says, I would love nothing more than to speak my mother tongue. Beautiful, okay. I respond in Draconic. <laughs> I understand all of this. <laughs> yes. I uh, don't understand why I understand all of this, but I understand all of this. Okay, I'm going to post this just for me. Uh, just to start out, I'm just gonna be like, is there anything that you want to ask her other than the obvious? Just as I can ask her up to five things, is there anything that you'd like to ask her before we get into the obvious he, questions? She needs to make her all. I'm more curious what you have to ask here, love. Alright, we're just gonna start with the obvious then. Speak with dead. Uh, what is your name? Yep. Uh, you, you light your incense. Some time passes as you perform a uh, ritual to cast this. Uh, but in due time, uh, the spell completes. Uh, the body kind of like jolts a bit. Um, and uh, the eyes open up with this dead stare out into space. Uh, and the body begins to speak. Uh, draconic, you asked because I asked it yeah. in draconic. Oh, uh, what was the exact question? Uh, what is your name? Ooh, hold on. Excuse me, hold on. You gotta get her full title. No, hold on. I gotta do a thing. Oh. I gotta, I oh, gotta, I gotta do a thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's not, my it's name not, is Jeff. Yeah, it's not even the princess. It's some my name random is dude. Jeff. It's just some random dude that was dressed up like the princess. Uh, in draconic, she replies. My name is Princess Amelia Caldas, the 45th. Is the Emperor like, oh, okay. Mm, he, he just kind of like looks on. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't seem the, to react in any way. In what manner were you killed? This is all going to be draconic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she kind of like gives like a, a death gasp uh, as uh, her body seems to be struggling with this uh, revitalization of life. And she says, uh, the needle entered my neck. It was not prepared. She was known 
Why did he do this? Who killed you? It was my attendant. His name was Alphonse. Uh, the, uh, emperor, like, snaps his fingers. Two people leave the room. Well, that's all the questions I had for her. I, uh, I'm gonna, like, address Amber. Your Grace, I still have two questions left that I can ask her. If there's anything you would like to know now that you have the answer to that. He, he kind of stands up and goes over to, uh, uh, the corpse of his daughter. Just kind of, like, looking... Uh, he's gonna think for a minute, which means I need to think for a minute. You can ask her two questions. Anything that he wants to know. Anything that, like, she maybe have hidden from him in life that he's just like, I'm gonna be a dad. Who are you, who are you dating behind my back, young lady? <laughs> did you finish your homework? Did you, ever turn in, did you ever return that book to the library? I keep getting emails that it's overdue. You lied. What is this Pornhub subscription I found in your inbox? <laughs> Ask if this young man was one of the courtesans. I, 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 I asked that question. Indrakhan. He was. He is of the Ruby Kingdoms. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Saw it coming. Fuck. Saw it. Does he have any other questions? He kind of, like, thinks to himself for a moment. Um, what would he ask as a last question? Huh, that is hey. a good question. What? Go ahead. Unless you got a better question. No, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Ask her if the rumors about her brother were true. I ask. Oh, I don't want to say. I, I cannot make her answer that. That is her answer. It means it's true. Uh, he kind of like walks back to his chair. Uh, he kind of doesn't sit in it. He just kind of paces for a moment. Uh, just kind of seeming to think to himself. Uh, he, he then, like, kind of turns to you and nods, and he says, Well done, cleric. You have certainly impressed this day. Hmm. Th Grace. The question still stands. You did this for a reason. For some reason. What is that reason? If there's no reason, this is fine. But everyone has their reasons. You wouldn't approach an emperor to ask to speak to their dead daughter for none. Hmm. 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 How am I gonna reply to this? He, he also says it to the group, so the group is free to reply. Um. Two things. One. Like I said, I was hoping to make a friend. I hope, hopefully did you a favor, and I hope maybe one day in the future, if time ever comes, that you may do us a favor. A favor such as what? That depends on the time. Hmm. That I would never ask you deal. for I would never ask you for something big, of course. Oh, everyone will say that, and then they want the entire empire. Just maybe for protection, if something were to happen. From whom? Depends on who the enemy is at the time. Do you have many of those? Not inherently. He, he kind of nods and he says, uh, and second. Hmm. I'm going to let Gareth join me in on this one. I'm going to start it, though. Okay. We know that you're always trying to start a war over in the Ruby Kingdoms, and I feel like your reasoning that you've gotten today is even more so of a reason to go to war for you. Put it mm -hmm. off a bit. If you could. You'll win, and I think you know that. 
That's all I ask. Yeah, he, he kind of nods and he says, What makes you... Blah, 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 blah. What makes you think I might win? Uchu. Well, first off, your palace is much better defended. A palace does not win a war. Hmm, but your troops do, and they seem much more high quality than the ones in the Ruby Kingdoms. How well, much things to be said about the soldiers of the Ruby Kingdoms. Well, they are nothing if not determined. Difficult thing. This is true. But I we can't go into specifics. Just we we can't. I'm sorry about that. But thing, oh. things are things are happening and we we need them to help potentially prevent a very major disaster. We need all of the the forces that they have available to them, all of the the resources that they have available to them. And what disaster or, might there be? I, I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. I I just I can't tell you that. It's more so just a minor side project of ours, and a war would make it very hard for us to get in between we, the Holy Empire and the we're not Kingdoms. saying We're not saying don't go to war, just please not yet. We need time. I, I don't know how much time, but we, we, we need time. You said you've met Zarius here before. You can... You already have an idea for how large-scale his plans can be. And we're working on one of those side projects now. So a war makes it harder for us to get around. And once the fruits of our labor are shown, then feel free. There may not be anything to even have a war over if this happens. But that's all I can say. There are plenty things to war over, and there are plenty stronger things than you could ever know that are just lurking this beneath is, the surface. This is just all I all I ask is time. We know that you want to go to war, and we know that the Ruby Kingdoms are set on not going to war. We just ask that you give us enough time to finish our little side project. So our travel is easy, and we don't have to worry about our resources. Then you're feel free to do whatever you fit, fit, feel fit. Well, I have many endeavors of my own. And if I cannot execute those in a timely fashion, then my endeavors will never be completed. I'm sure we all are quite busy, young lads. That being said, what are you doing that is so in need of not having... Major conflict on your hands. He's like in both of your safety bubbles. I can't tell you. I can't, can't tell you the specifics. Can't tell the strongest man in the world, aren't you a secretive person? Hmm. Just I, I as just, we said, side projects. I can't. I'm currently doing a lot of things for my gods that have me going everywhere. You saw my ability, and I'm only planning on getting stronger from here, but I can't complete my clerical duties. As I've told you before, I work for four beings. A lot harder than just working for one. Who and do I need you serve? To... Who do I serve? Hmm... The Nine. The nine are more than three, and more than four. A few of the nine. Yeah. (laughs) More so the chaotic ones. A cleric of chaos has lightful. Mm. That leaves one out. Uh, I have a little shade flap on my shoulder. (laughs) Yeah, shade, shade flaps there. Uh, he kind of like looks to it and kind of like makes a connection. Mm-hmm. Um, he says, "Very well, pitiable." And I thought you might serve something deeper. Always trying, always looking for new reasons. I have reasons. Hmm. I serve another. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> and who would that be? 
if you don't I, mind sharing. I serve that of Tiamat. Have you heard of her? Hmm. Maybe in old, old texts. But we are library fiends, me and Zarius here. So I can't tell you what the context was, but the name does sound slightly familiar. He kind of like walks away from you and like whispers something over to uh, his attendant. Uh, the attendant whispers something back. Uh, he seems to think for a moment and then turns back to you. And he says, I serve a higher power. A power that is not very strong. It is stronger as the days grow. But there are tasks that need to be made. I could perhaps be your friend, if you'd serve those tasks. What kind of tasks are you talking about? There are magical rituals all over this land. We want to see those rituals activated. We can fund your endeavors, if you would see them through. Would you give us time to think on the matter? Uh, he kind of nods to his attendant. The attendant nods back and, like, quickly scribbles something down. You can be in direct confirmation with my attendants and such. And if you have a change of heart, you can certainly come back at any time. Sounds like a good deal, friend. It is not a deal yet until the deal is done. Remember that. True. True. Uh, I, I, out of out, out of character, is he not giving us time for for the war? Uh, he did not agree to anything. And the war that was condition two. This is more talking about condition one thing. What of it? If I raise all of the fields in all of the world, what of it? It means nothing. So you're not going to be giving time. I'll give the time that I need for my plans, at least for their volition. That being said, there's time for everything. But if the time we... grows short as the days grow long. If we agreed to your conditions, would you consider giving time? Perhaps. Perhaps. I do need a strong adventurer to venture out for my needs. It seems that those you can hire can only do so much, and sending oh, armies is, and sending armies is very inconvenient. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. This is a very bad I don't idea. plan on doing it. I don't plan on doing it. I just wanted to know. Wait, what's he asking? I, I'm pr we're pretty sure, out of character, I'm pretty sure he's asking us to go, to go light he's the fire. He's asking us to go light the fires. I know that. Hmm. He's talking about big magical rituals that he wants to see completed. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we, we can't do this for him. He's already a player. We, we can't. We just need to get out of here as calmly as possible. Hmm. That definitely made the, the deal more interesting, but I think we still need some time to think about it. At your leisure. If you need anything, my attendants will be awaiting. They have your names. Thank you. Uh, and uh, he's going to talk to Maul, but Bear is dead. Uh, but so you I, want to fuck? Uh, but uh, I'm going to let Jack speak for Maul. By the by, I have been informed you should pay people properly. Oh, he knows that. He, <laughs> he knows. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> there are certain clerics who do a good job every single day they serve me every single day and if they are not well paid well there's an executioner's block that fits everyone's head it was kind of a bind think about the bind you'll be in as your head comes off I kind of like my head. <laughs> you have a very fascinating figure. Uh, but otherwise, do you have Dude, anything? I was, I was gonna go Playboy wait, there for a second. Wait, 
I I eat stop wait, myself. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did eat he, a lot did, of salad. Did he just... <laughs> What, wait, what happened there out of character? What just happened with that? Uh, he's like, hey, you should have paid the cleric. Okay, okay, for a second there, I thought he was putting Maul to this fucking gallows. Oh. He threatened it. Uh, can I chime in? Uh, this is basically your last moment to speak to him with your um, audience. I'm gonna try to be flirty with this. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attempt... Uh, if he needs it pay, not paid off, I can surely work something out. Work something out, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check at disadvantage. Oh, he, has it, he has it at normal. He has it at I normal, it man. Because advantage. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, but Jerry's gonna break my promise. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh... Wait. Uh, he approaches you, Corva, and uh, he takes his hand, puts it to your cheek, and rubs it up to your chin, and says, "If only you could." Uh, he walks away. Fuck! I was so close. No! Almost, boys. I was so uh, close. But do you have anything else to say so uh, to the fine emperor? So out of out out of out of character, uh, would we would we know that if we say no to this deal, that like nothing is gonna happen to us? He didn't threaten you. Okay. We did him a solid. He's my okay. best friend now. Okay. Okay. That's that, that. That's all I need to know. It, it, it is important to note that he didn't tell you anything about the ritual. He didn't. But... You know that he knows, but he doesn't know that you know. Yeah, that was kind of the point. Yeah. I I kept I, listen. I, I used you and your backstory as a co to cover our ass. Thank you for being some weird fucking dude, Zelf. I don't know how much that did. I think it did enough. I don't I don't know. Did he seem to really care? Listen, man, that's fine. Uh, no other um, things to say to the emperor. I, I mean, I, I'd, oh. I'd have many a questions just asking him about myself, but I don't feel like he'd answer. That is up to you. I also don't really feel like he'd want to just talk about me. Okay. Hooey! If I you ever, feel, I, I don't feel like he has a very high opinion of me. He seems to think I'm an idiot. If, uh, if you need a cleric, feel free to call. <laughs> I'm, I'm, say, call. I'm saying that to him, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. feel free to be in contact if you ever need a cleric. He, he gives you a wave. Uh -huh. how, much, how, how much funding did you give, by the way? Oh, oh, you're asking that? Yeah, yeah I just, I just want to know how much funding he gave. Hmm. None. Why None. would I fund a tower in the middle of nowhere? I have that tower, though. Very well done. I did not think it would be possible. To renovate such a structure is a remarkable feat. You should be proud. Bear is ever so slightly snoring. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. It's ambient noise. It's ambient noise. I'd invite you over, but it's, it's, a, it's a mess. I'd also invite you over, but, you know, war. I'd also One invite day. you over, but I'm home. <laughs> Plus, I don't think uh, my manner would uh, compare to any of this. Also, I have no idea how he'd respond to that comment, Jack, so he's just going to say nothing. It's not that he didn't appreciate it. It's just that I don't know what the fuck he would say. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for not remembering you, by the way. A lot of things have happened. Many things will happen in the future. Be prepared. Oh boy, howdy. Bay. Yeah, ah! he he uh, uh, has his excellent from the door. Uh, you guys are led by the guards, uh, escorted down the uh, majority of the stairs. Uh, I mean, back. I consider that a win. 
Did we do uh, good, Chris? Could that have gone back, really bad? You could. You go back down to the uh, first floor, out the gates into the garden where all of the various nobles are, and then out the gates of the palace, uh, out into the streets of the avenues that are there. Uh, the attendant, the tabaxi, uh, escorts you the whole way. Uh, and he is willing to answer any questions or concerns that you might have before you're actually gone. Did we do good? <laughs> Don't ask him. Okay. Um, but what do you ask him in character? If you have anything to. If you just want to depart, we're, that's fine. We're not We're not going to face any repercussions if we say no to the deal, right? Just, just, just hypothetic, you know? The Emperor offers you... A simple deal as adventurous. I'm sure you would get paid fantastically if you accepted. But it is the way it is. Every adventurer is different. And if you choose not, I'm sure someone else would. Where is the prince right now? The prince, as far as I know, is still in the Ruby Kingdoms. His tour back into the Holy Empire was cut short after the death of the princess. Hmm. Do you know whereabouts he might be in the Ruby Kingdoms? Hypothetically, meeting with the king, he's probably done by now. He should be on his way back to the northern country. How are you doing? I'm doing yeah, fine. You? Thank you for asking. Do you want to? Do you want to go grab some tea? I'm a little busy at this moment, but they appreciate the offer. Those tiefling girls you were traveling with before are really pretty. Where are they? They at? are very strong in their own time. They oh. serve in the. They serve with the uh, Prince Caldus in their time. I'm sure they are accompanying him as we speak. Uh, what, what's more your name? I don't think we, I don't think we learned your name. What's your name? Uh, bay, what is his name? I don't know. He tells you his name Kinko. and I'll tell you his name later. Kinko. It's not that. It's Kinko. It is not that. Absolutely Kinko. I will tell you his name later though because if, I have it written down somewhere, but if, I think if, it's in Roll20. If, if if I'm if we're ever in in town, you have some free time. We 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 should get tea. Matters can be arranged. Yay! I'm making a friend. This is my friend now. He's my friend now. It's your best friend now. He's my friend. Oh, I know. Uh, anything left to say to him? No. You guys depart the palace. Uh, and that is where we'll end it. So we do good? Could that have gone really bad? Um, it could have gone very differently. You played a very neutral, neutral path through that. Which I did not expect you guys to take. What did you think we were gonna do? What the fuck do you know, bitch? Essentially, yes. Oh, what the? I, I, I don't you feel guys... like I feel like that would have been too aggressive, that and you would have learned. Made what we a learned. very bad enemy. I I I, th I thought you guys would talk about what you're doing to some degree, and then he'd talk about what he's doing to some degree, and then you guys would bond over that in some sort of way. I don't think we. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if that's bonded. true. We're very negative towards that idea, so I don't think we would have bonded at all. Like the, like the stuff we heard didn't seem very appealing about it. Yeah. I mean, you didn't really hear much. You don't know I what mean, his plan is. He serves Tiamat though, and Tiamat's not a good person. Tiamat's not. You a don't know, lady. and you don't know a whole lot about Tiamat. I mean, we learned Tiamat's not a good person. It's true. So <laughs> that's really, like, really, like, gen general knowledge of Tiamat is. They're not a good person. I think no. we did the best we could do while staying as like anonymous as we could be. It's true. We we gained nothing from this, but we didn't lose anything. We it's gained true. a friend. We gained a potential friend. We gained you a actually, potential friend. You actually you you did uh gain one thing. What? He you know he's a player. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I knew he. I had suspicion he was already a player. Oh, and yeah. Now it's confirmed. Pretty I correctly. had suspicion he was a player because Dublin was a player, and he's actively working out of the Holy Empire. Yep. I felt you, like if you, we had brought you, Dublin up to him, he'd have known all about Dublin. Yeah. That is the good question. Are they friends? I'm Probably. Sure he's a noble. He's a noble. He's a noble. He, he's he's uh, a noble. It should also be noted, Corva, you're a noble. You're you're also consorting with the emperor of the rival kingdom. All right, but we're it's gonna, hot. We're gonna take a quick break, and then afterwards we're gonna do some uh, bullshit. Metro. I guess. I guess. Okay. I guess oh, we're metro. doing dream hot book diggity. next time. Yeah. Hot diggity! Give me dream that book. metro.
Dream book and tieflings next time on Strambers. I mean, hang on. I'm gonna kick Bear out. No momento, por favor. My I'm gonna turn off the music. Now I have to wait a whole nother week before I die. So He's dead. Just come to me. My family will be your new family. Also, I'm gonna leave you alone and say so you can do your stream. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Your family's bye. dead. My family. Unless you want to come with. I everything died. Never mind. Do you want to come with? No. Leave it. Okay. Bye bye. Okay.